What's going on, everybody? Thank you all so much for joining us here uh, for a very special edition of some Silver Springs Lady Cat Soccer. It's a great Friday night. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, welcome in. I'm Tyler Lennon. I'm joined, of course, by Mr. Brandon Williams. What's going on, man? Man, just excited to watch some soccer and call a little bit with you guys. It's always fun sitting up in the booth. Oh, dude, it's always fun to have you here. And, of course, you cannot see him. It would uh, be nice to sit in the booth, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there he nice is. Y'all can't it. see him because he's having to pull double duty tonight. <laughs> but we've got Corey Hankins both running a camera and doing some uh, – some play-by-play play with us. How you feeling, man? I feel good. I'm a man of many talents. You'd feel a little better if you were in here, though, huh? I, it's not that bad, honestly. I got my gloves, got my hoodie. I'm feeling good. Good. Good deal. So, uh, Woody, you can help us out a little bit here. Uh, this is not just – of course, we are here to watch Lady Cat soccer, but we've got something else special going on uh, before the game gets started, right? That's correct. We have a hometown heroes uh, recognition. So, what it's like, the last couple of times, games in different sports, they've recognized teachers and invited their favorite teachers out on the field where they're doing that with some of the local hometown heroes, first yeah. responders types. There's some military, there's some EMT, there's some fire and police. So, it's a pretty cool opportunity to, to and I think they're going to start doing this every year. It's the first time ever. So, it's pretty neat. Heck yeah, it's a big deal. It's, it's super awesome. Yeah. So I think they're actually doing some of the announcements right now. Yeah. I'm going to turn my mic so y'all can hear it. Again, hopefully y'all can uh, hear some of that. We're trying to get the PA volume as loudly as we possibly can, but want to make sure everyone can see and hear all of the heroes that are be being honored here tonight. Which, like you said, very cool uh, for them to for do, to do this and everything. You know, it is pretty cool. I'm glad they're they're doing this, and it sounds like it's going to be the start of a pretty cool tradition. Yeah, we saw uh, obviously Mr. Finley and Miss Chester here, so. Definitely some familiar faces for, for people who are coming to games and everything. I feel like I'm calling a golf Amy match. <laughs> right. And whispering. Amy graduated from Paris Junior College in 2000 on December 8th with Mayor Chester. She is currently employed with Texas Alternative and Services in the Princess Health Care and Welfare Program. Which, Woody, as someone who's uh, obviously gotten to see pretty much every single game from this team so far, what are uh, what are some things that we can expect to see out of tonight's game? Obviously, the Lady Cats still undefeated, 
in district play and have been doing so by, I, I believe they have outscored their opponents 18 to two so far in district play. It is something like that. It is pretty crazy. We, we played Pittsburgh, uh, the last district game. We won nine to zero. Uh, and oh, so wow. it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting district. Uh, you know, certainly, certainly this team is not going to be a pushover. So we have to take them seriously and everything, but, uh, based on some of the things we've said, we should play pretty good. I think we'll match up well against them. Uh, I have not seen them play. I know we played them last year, but that doesn't matter because we're a whole different team than we right. were last year. Yes, sir. We also have another very special guest. If you want to hop on and take take my spot, we got Coach Faircloth in here. No? I think Coach Faircloth might could uh, provide some expertise that I might not have. I don't know. Co Coach Faircloth is up here just, quote, checking on us. And that's also keeping him warm. So he's going to check on us for the entire game, maybe. Yes, sir. That's probably that's probably a good idea. He's making sure we're not wrecking it up here. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, 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 that's probably a Pretty neat scenario out here. There are a lot of first responders mm -hmm. and, and hometown heroes out here. It's absolutely an honor to, to see these folks recognized tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you, Coach. Have a good evening, Coach. <laughs> Someone might have to get up here a little bit more often with us. There you go. Again, right after this, we'll get back to our uh, usual pregame show and everything. And, of course, we'll have to uh, tell you all about some of our friends that make all of this possible along the way. Yeah, definitely when you have as many uh, players as we do tonight, it's awesome to get to see this many people be honored, you know. That is. And seeing the how many people are here as guests, that's pretty cool. Yes, sir. Well. Oh, wow. Big shout out to, to Juan. Love Juan. Smoke Eater's Barbecue right yes, there. Yes, sir. He's a, a close family friend of ours. We love Juan. Oh, yeah. Know Juan very well. And then down here you have Zoe Haywood, and it looks like her dad. Uh, is her hero, and that oh, makes wow. total sense. Danny, Danny Haywood. That is awesome. Danny has been a fireman and EMT for 27 years. Zach Haywood has been an ER nurse and EMT for the past three years. That's pretty cool. Brother and dad. That is awesome. She is very proud of them and their service to others. Thank you to all these men and women who have impacted our players and our community. Let's honor these. All right, very exciting. I mean, they're filling from the 45 of the visitor side all the way down to the 25 of uh, of our own. Yeah, own that side is. Of the field. That's a ton of people. That is Man, awesome so to see. Awesome. So awesome. Yeah, we can kind of see the uh, wider view there. Yeah, that is a uh, that yeah. is awesome. Dude, so cool because uh, Amy uh, Ridner Ridner was uh, my so when we had our first son Judah, she was our nurse. Oh well. Wow. Um, so. Super cool to see her. 
and everybody has such a cool story on, on why they have somebody. And there are a lot oh, of family yeah. members, which is neat. Like, I'll give you an example. My daughter, Anna, um, she has Anesu down there. So when, when she broke her wrist, uh, she went to Dr. Douthat's office in Anesu, uh, you know, the epitome of professionalism and the nicest human being yeah. I've ever, like, the coolest guy. And she may, you know, her experience was very cool because of him. And it was like, I've got to invite this guy. He's he was in the military yeah, and and he he didn't hesitate to camp. See, out. we have so many. I don't even know if we're gonna be <laughs> be able to get them all in one photo down there. That's oh, awesome. Den will figure that out. Yeah, Den will figure that out. I love I love seeing that because man, you never know like what's what, you know what you do today how mm-hmm. it will impact somebody's life. You know. That's right. So it's just a cool way to live. So. I love nights like these. So they'll probably – I know the, the time clock's ready to go. I don't know if they're going to do a full-blown uh, start to this. They have the flags yeah, up, so I'm we also, might actually do that. I'm also uh, curious to see that. Uh, until then, why don't we get back to kind of more of a, a typical pregame show. Of course, like I said, awesome. Uh, we, we thank every single one of you all for joining us tonight, spending your Friday night with us. Like we said, this is so far an undefeated uh, Lady Cats team here in district play, obviously looking to improve to 4-0. and uh, but North Lamar, I believe they're two and one, right? North Lamar is two and one. Uh, they have their one loss is, I believe, to the Pleasant Grove team out of the outskirts of Texarkana. They, you know, we beat them, but they were a tough match uh, for us. That's going to be the toughest uh, opponent, I believe, for us in district. They're going to give everybody trouble that they play as well. But uh, we are three and zero in district. Like you mentioned earlier, we've scored 19 goals and given up two, mm-hmm. and uh, really done a good job of controlling the match. Uh, you know, we, we've started games out, started to control the pace with some passing and then waiting for some opportunities to create some runs. Pretty neat seeing these girls once they get going. And, uh, you know, last week against when they played against Pittsburgh, we were up 4-0 at half. And I think by the first 15 minutes of the second half, we'd scored five more goals. So it was kind of a crazy, crazy time. So if they get hot, uh, it gets pretty dangerous for our opponents. I guarantee you that. Yeah, and looking at uh, some of the stats here, it looks like, there are a ton of girls who are getting involved. Obviously, you have Haley Schultz leading the way with 17 goals and six assists, which is a wild amount of goals in just 12 games played. Uh, but then you've got Kylie Clark with nine. Anna Williams and Rebecca Stanley each have six. Rowan Faircloth has five in just two games played. Um, it, it looks like it's being spread out fairly even. That's evenly. right. It is, and there's there's a good rotation going on right now, and there's a lot of good chemistry going on. So it, it's it's fun to watch. You did you did mention Rowan. So she came off of an injury, came back. She looks one hundred percent. She looks she had an outstanding last couple of games. She's going to be out tonight. She has a I believe a college showcase with her club. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. That's what know, uh, Coach Bruno was having. telling us earlier in the night, which is uh that's awesome that. A big opportunity for her and everything. Uh, like what he was saying, yes, we do have the clock running now. Y'all can see that here. Uh, so we're about, uh, as long as they stick to that and everything, 13 minutes away um, from this game getting started and everything. But I'm, I'm really excited, man. We don't, we haven't gotten to be out here as much as, as we would like to be. And, of course, it's always fun to sit in the booth with you and everything. So we're you excited for that. full experience, Tyler. Just feel free to. No, I'm, I'm more comfortable <laughs> here. I'm more comfortable in the uh, – I, I, I like watching soccer. I don't love sitting out in the, the environment. Weather, yeah. 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 And, you know, and I will throw Slade Daniel under the bus. He could have been here tonight, yeah. but he is not with us. So, wow. uh, But, no, Slade is really busy, so he really wanted to come. But we had a fun time talking with him last time. But yeah. maybe we'll get another game with him. I'm excited but, uh, to see these girls again. They're they're firing on all cylinders, Yes, they. Yes, anytime like. we've gotten to see them, it's uh, they've been a ton of fun to watch. Yeah. We Hey, we played against um, – I know this is one of the – I think there's always, like, competing basketball and things like that. Mm -hmm. But when we started district play against Pleasant Grove, we came out, and I think in the first 15 or 20 seconds scored a goal. It was, like, the most phenomenal way uh, to start a game out. Do these girls kind of feel disrespected? Because I know Lethal Enforcer has them ranked ninth in this region. No, hey, Lethal Enforcer, I mean, I don't even think they're – I mean, they might be ninth now, but I mean, it, it's it is. They probably do feel disrespected because they just, have I like Cattle look. Mills yeah, ranked ahead look. of them, yeah. And they have Maybank ranked ahead of them. We beat Cattle Mills four zero. Yeah. We beat Maybank three one, and yet we're still That's you know I was, lagging. I was just looking because I saw they posted the boys, and so I was just wanted to see where the girls were, and I was thinking top five at least. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we we had a tough game against the defending state champ Salina. I think everybody they've played has had a tough game. They've <laughs> yeah. they've won every game by. A, a strong margin and once that happened 
uh, you know, th th we kind of got fell out of the rankings. But we have some other losses too. But while some of these teams that I've noticed, the ones that you just mentioned that might be ahead of us, yeah. you know, they have a strong record. And they've been playing some arguably some very weak opponents. We played Tough basically people. some of our old district schedule. We played T High. We played Pine Tree. We played Mount, Hallsville. Mount Pleasant. Mm -hmm. We played Mount Pleasant. So we're preparing ourselves for that next step with some tough competition. Yeah. Uh, and, and so I'm glad we did that. I would rather get some of those kinks yes, worked out absolutely. and have a little bit more longevity in the playoffs. That's the goal anyway. Well, and you'd rather come into district and uh, the playoffs thinking, okay, this is what I need to work on. We need to get better on this That's or right. that. Then going into the playoffs with a big head thinking, oh, we're, you know, top dogs and the lethal lethal enforcer i don't really know who runs that i mean it's awesome that they do that yeah. right uh and we got a lot of respect on the front end as well uh but i'm also f very very thankful like <laughs> i said we played some tough competition leading up to this district and we are seeing the payoff for it which uh before we go any further i've got to say woody always the ultimate profession professional came prepared yes got <laughs> came prepared with the chick-fil-a we love to see it, and I don't know if y'all know this, but you know now that the the holidays have come and gone, the New Year goals are in place. If you are looking for a healthy option that is still full of flavor, right there, what do you came prepared with the Chick Fil A? You know, I'm not known for healthy options necessarily <laughs> all the time. However, the last time we did a broadcast, I ate grilled chicken nuggets over there and they were absolutely phenomenal what he always prepared this time i had a market a chicken a market salad had grilled chicken in it Ooh. and uh, it was pretty delicious so i've been trying to be a little bit more reasonable unsweet tea uh -huh. kind of boring but i mean hey that's what i did chick-fil-a salads oh, yeah. underrated i mean they i sat there and so ate good. on this salad for it felt like felt like forever and so it was it was good though yeah, Enjoyed it. i love their salads honestly oh I'm, I'm a i'm a huge fan and that the cool thing about it is you can hang out tonight. You can watch some Sulphur Springs Lady Cat soccer and have, again, an awesome meal. And you don't even have to leave your couch. You can just do it on the app, catering and delivery available for all you hungry cats out there. That's, uh, you know, people talk about, like, oh, that's the future. That's some 2023 stuff, to, oh, to not have to leave my couch and I can watch some Sulphur Springs Lady Cat soccer and get some Chick-fil-A. That is pretty it's good. It's the future, man. It I'm is. Telling you. We're, we're living it, man. But I know we're on a Chick-fil-A kick, and I'm not compensated by Chick-fil-A. I'm just a big <laughs> fan. But so I went there today, and I and I, I went to, with my buddy, and I said, this is why they do well. So Bryson, the owner of the yes. of the location, man, I love Bryson. He's, he does a good job. He works hard. He's always out there. He's out there, you know, picking up trash off tables, cleaning the windows, uh, encouraging his staff, thanking customers, and he's like that every time. And yeah. I saw Yori there as well. They've just got good leadership, and they lead by example, and that's why their staff does exactly. a good job too. So. That's mm -hmm. the thing. That's the thing. They lead by example. Also, before we get started with tonight's game, also a couple more friends that we wanted to tell you about, starting with iFocus. Here at Chad's Media, we want to make sure that you get to see all of the action, and so do our friends at iFocus Vision Care. They provide the highest quality of optometry care as well as a full range of optometry services. iFocus is also very accommodating as they accept a number of insurance plans. Give them a call at 903-439-2020 or visit them at 1100 Mockingbird Lane. If you're looking to enhance your vision, call them today. And, of course, as always, got to give a huge shout-out to our friends at Discount Wheel and Tire. Discount Wheel and Tire of Sulphur Springs offers a full line of Michelin tires. When you're looking for the right tire, the choice is easy. Michelin packs more science into their tires to bring together safety, durability, fuel efficiency, and performance without trade-offs. Match the right tire with the right service today. Discount Wheel and Tire, proudly serving our Wildcats for over 25 years. Now, I believe I focus – now, I may be wrong here, but if my memory serves me correctly, they have the gooder sunglasses in stock over there. Oh, nice. And they, I believe they do them in prescription. Now, I may be wrong here, but if my memory serves me correctly, they do. Are they gooder than others? Dude, oh! They're, they, they're my favorite sunglasses. <laughs> I had to throw in a dad joke. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So a little, uh, little over seven minutes until we get started tonight. Uh, what do, what are your keys? What are your keys to the game? What, what are Woody's throw, keys to victory. Woody's keys to victory, baby. Here's, I would say this game and others. What we need to do is control the tempo. So when you, when you see us starting to connect the passes, and not just one or two, but control the pace of the game and work passes and not force the ball up the field just to go forward. Yeah. We start pinging some passes well together, everything opens up. Lanes open up, runners open up, and it makes the game easier for us. Sometimes you'll see us and other teams, we'll get into a habit of maybe trying to force a ball, force a long ball to like a, a to Haley Schultz happen. type. You know she's fast. Yeah. You, you know, there might they might see a weakness in the defense and just try to force it. 
but sometimes if you ping passes together and get people in a little misdirection yeah. uh, and, and stumbling, it makes the job way easier. Yeah, and you can't you can't score the ball if you don't have the ball, you know. So that's, that's right. A, that's a big deal. Is like you said, pinging those passes together. Which uh, kind of on possession. that note, a player that I wanted to give a uh, a big shout out to, uh, and just a freshman, I believe, Addie Fenton, eleven assists yes. this season. Uh, we were talking about all the goal scores and everything, but to have eleven assists already, uh, the next closest would be Haley Schultz with six, and then there's a bunch with uh, you know two or three, but eleven assists already from a freshman. That's and then, that's huge. Tyler, I don't know if you've hit on this, but the margin of victory so far in district. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we were talking about that eighteen or nineteen to two. That's uh. That's embarrassing through three soccer. games that's, that's insane. which that's fifa stuff as right someone there, who you know? who is more um informed than me is that more impressive on a defensive standpoint or an offensive standpoint to have scored the 18 to 19 goals or to allow just the two I think it's well, a little bit of both. Uh, I would mind. say a little bit of both, but I mean, if you've been watching us, everybody kind of knows we've scored. I mean, I think we've scored seventy some odd goals, including some of these preseason. Golly. And I mean, we score a lot of goals, and uh, I think the people that we play know that. You'll see. I don't know if you'll see that, but oftentimes in soccer, you'll see they call it parking the bus. So mm-hmm. they'll pack everybody. Usually, there's like three or four on defense. Sometimes you might see you know, six or seven on defense. So, yeah. And then they might have somebody – they're just counting on a mistake and trying to long ball and, and, and take advantage of a mistake from us. So, we'll see some teams we play pack it in, and that's just kind of like a a, uh, a general uh, sign of, uh, okay, I know you're going to score, and it's almost a defensive tactic in order yeah. to be able to do that. So, anyway, yeah, I mean, giving up, we, we have a pretty good defense. Uh, we, we change some things up, some personnel, depending on the quality of the team we're, we're playing. But, man – we are – I would suspect that we'll see Kylie Clark at left wing at some point tonight. I don't know if she'll start up there. She's a, you know, first-team all-district center back. She plays defense, and she's one of the best uh, anywhere in this area. Yeah. But, man, when she – she's a big lefty. I mean, huge leg, man. She can she can bomb she shots. And as referenced by her goals, how did you, how did you say? She's nine goals? Uh, and yes. That, and that's yes, primarily playing defense the majority of the time. Wow. So she'll score. She scored directly on several corner kicks, curled it in. She scored and on the receiving end of some corner kicks. She'll do some free kicks. Uh, and then also just on, when she's on the attack. So she's a weapon in several different areas. I'll bet you you'll see her uh, as a part of that attack. But back to Addie, what you were saying earlier, she is just a freshman, which is pretty cool because, uh, you know, as a freshman getting – you know, that many minutes. Uh-huh. Her and Jolie Moore play on uh, Dallas Roma. It's a club team. It's the same team that Anna Williams, my daughter, and Emma Romero play on. Haley Schultz has played nice. uh, for many years on that team. And, uh, you know, they uh, foundationally, they have really good habits. They turn the right way. They receive the right way. They look and patrol the field. If you look at Addie, she'll win balls, 1v1s, all night, and you'll see some really tremendous footwork. She just creates a lot of space, gets out of trouble, doesn't get all nervous, and she just takes care of business. And she finds feet a lot, as referenced by her assists and everything. Right. So, yeah, you'll see it other places, too, not just on an assist standpoint. She'll find people uh, from a passing standpoint all night long. Well, Which no, oh, ahead. no, you're good. Go well, ahead. That's the key is finding feet, not playing the ball to a zone or to an area. Fi- playing playing feet, getting the ball into the possession of, the, of your teammates and trusting them to make a play. You know what I mean? That's Correct. a big part of it. Correct. And then – It'll set up those runs where you can take another calculated chance versus yeah. just trying to force it. Yeah, uh, I was going to say something that I'm also looking forward to tonight. Uh, I feel like this is a very big match in the sense that North Lamar, 2-1, and one, you know, they're kind of the second-place team in district so far. This would give you a chance to continue to create that separation, and now you would have a two-game lead sure. uh, on the district, uh, uh, Believe it's depending the, on what Pleasant Grove yeah, does tonight as well. But yeah. yeah. That, that's true. I'm not sure who Pleasant Grove plays, but uh, that would give us a little separation opportunity. I believe they are playing – one second, I had it pulled up. They are playing uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yes. And, and, and Pittsburgh, I mean, uh, it, I, do, I, want, I mean this respectfully, but, you know, they struggle a little bit. They don't yes. have a JV team. I, I feel like it's probably a pretty fresh program. If uh, Max Preps is correct, so far in district play, they have not scored yet, and they have allowed 13 goals. They are 0-3. And, so. and they're struggling, but here's what you got to know. I mean, they, they – you know, good, respectful kids. I mean, sometimes people get frustrated out there on the soccer field, mm-hmm. and when they, you know what they lack in soccer, they'll make up in aggressiveness and start fouling people. And you didn't see any of that. I'm sure those girls want to learn, and that's how you get better is being out here and doing it. So not that doesn't that's not a knock on them at all. We've been there. We had a tough year last year here in Absolutely. Sulphur Springs, right? And so I, w- we totally understand how that feels. And now this year we understand how it feels from from the opposite. 
uh, standpoint and being able to see some successes and everything. So I, I wish them success. It's going to be a tough year for them, and uh, that's sports for you, though. Yeah, you know, absolutely. One last interesting note before we get started, just uh, about a minute on the clock. The, the difference in – how these two teams have been winning games so far, like we already mentioned, an 18-2 to two goal differential for Sulphur Springs. North Lamar, who's also 2-1, and one, their goal differential is 4-3. to three. So you're looking at a ton of points compared yep. to what sounds like uh, some really close, low-scoring games. So it sounds like to me, if Sulphur Springs can come out early, find the back of the net a time or two, they might could really take this in their direction. Well, that, and it's very be good easy news. For, the, for the Wildcats, too, because like if you – you score a couple, then like you said, like what he said, you can park the bus because you've got kids who can make deep runs and you know bomb the ball out there and just let them catch up to it. You know. Now, uh, now, not to correct you, but Ooh. we're not parking the bus. Oh, I didn't think so. Now, when we uh, <laughs> when we play Salina at some point, we'll park uh, the bus. We we have to. Yeah. But like again, we'll we'll play a traditional defense and and we'll try to rotate out. You'll see this, and there'll be a lot of kids getting minutes. And uh, if we can beef up a lead and everything like that, it's it's a lot of kids being able to get some really good quality minutes. When that happens, it helps for the length of the season. And then when we get yeah. into the playoffs, then you'll have be able to have Everybody's some some bench strength that's absolutely getting some good minutes and adding value out yeah. there on the field too. Here's the deal, Woody. You can always correct me, baby. Hey, but parking the me. bus is a is a really valid tactic. But I would not imagine you'd see us do that yeah. at, at in this district. I'm just uh, thinking of uh, – because I think it, it, if I remember right, it was Mount Pleasant who would kind of – they'd lay back on defense. Right. They had a one kid. I think she was a center back or something like that. Right. And she could just boom it. Sure. And they had a striker who was just – And they were trying to catch fast. a slip and make a yep, mistake. And just go. And so – and they really didn't have to worry about – they could play primarily defense and then just every, every once in a while they get that advantage and then just – be off to the races so I don't know if they're going to do it looks like they might be introducing the teams I know that the captains were just out mm -hmm. so you have Isabel Tessing Izzy Tessing she's a captain Anna Williams is another captain it looks like they already did the coin toss and now they're going for some of the announcements introducing the teams yep they're announcing North, North Lamar right now I don't know if y'all can hear any of the announcements or anything, but yeah, hopefully you should be able to hear that a little bit now. Awesome. Number four, Brooke Corbis. Number five. Some North Lamar faithful out here. Mm-hmm. Short little trip. We played Paris. Uh, last week, last Tuesday, in the pouring down rain, oh. the entire game. That is rough. What's uh, I, I can't figure what would the pouring down rain or the very cold. What would be worse between those two? You think? Pouring down rain. Oh. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I get. We can. You have the right gear. You can. You can watch and play in the cold. Mm -hmm. But when it's rainy and cold, oh, I would imagine that's terrible as a player. Again, I want to thank every single one of y'all for spending your Friday night with us here on Front Porch News and Chad's Media. The Lady Panthers are coached by Selena Davis and Ashley McCormick. And now for your Sulphur Springs Lady Cats. Here we go. Number one, Anna Williams. Number two, Addison Jones. So just a note for you guys. North Lamar only has 13 players. Oh wow. Oh wow. So that tells me they have two subs. It's going to be a long oh, game. That's that's rough. I believe we were here watching or I was here watching um, the boys play Liberty Allo and uh, they had 11 kids and one of them got injured in the first oh, half. Oh boy. And uh, that was it's not a good night for LE. Which, if I'm not mistaken, there's just one home game after this, correct? 
One more, two more. I believe that's correct. There's not very many of them. Yeah, I'm looking at the schedule. Uh, starting Tuesday on the road against Pleasant Grove, and then at home next Friday for Paris. And then, it, unless Max Preps is incorrect, it's four road games to end the season. Wow. Bullard, Pittsburgh, North Lamar, and Anna. And then so the Bullard and Anna, those are not district games. Really? Uh, we just don't oh, have yeah. a full district gotcha. based on huh. the, the size of the programs. There's a lot of these schools that, that uh, don't have a girls' soccer program. Hmm. So Wow, even at the 4A is, level, huh? Yeah. yeah. Does that benefit us, getting those – Absolutely, because both of those I, b I believe we even have Lindale scheduled next week. I've Ooh. heard a rumor to come here because we're trying to get games in, yeah. and good quality games. Anna's going to be good. Lindale's good. Don't quote me on the Lindale, but that's just what I've heard they're trying <laughs> now, to work is, on. Is Anna a senior this year? Uh, my Anna is a junior this year. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking she was a senior. I have a senior named Marin. Yes. She'll be 18 right. next week. That's what? right. Oh, my gosh. Now, what does it mean for them to, to come in and have success this year? You know what I mean? How, how big is that for them? Hey, we're going to pause for oh, the yeah, national anthem. Yeah, we'll pause for that. All right. Yeah, now we're ready for some Lady Cat Soccer. Again, thank every single one of you to, uh, for hanging out with us, spending your Friday night with us here on Front Porch News and Chad's Media. So back to your question, what does it do, Corey, when we have some success yeah. with a relative – I mean, all in all, we have a really young team. And so being able to solidify some of the, the minutes and positions and chemistry – and basically reload for next year and, and mm -hmm. start off right off the bat with uh, less questions. We kind of figured we might have some pieces, and now we know we will, yeah. which we're losing some people that are, you know, really talented soccer yeah. players too. But the, the bulk of the team is, is pretty young. Yeah, you, you know you're not going to have to go out. And not that you're not going to have to replace those, those, those positions, but you've got some talent underneath them that have had varsity minutes and, you know, uh, time. Uh, something to note for the viewers out there and you guys. So it looks like we're on a two ref crew tonight. So typically we'll have three. We'll have two linesmen, uh, you know, on, on either side of the, the field, and then we'll have one referee. So, you know, it, it makes you respect these guys because it's an mm -hmm. impossible job anyway. But having two, man, they're going to, it's going to be a track meet for them to yeah. stay in position. It's pretty tough on them. So I appreciate, uh, two of them for showing up and, and uh, taking care of business tonight. Real but you'll see that a lot in in, uh, in this area, some two-man ref crews. Before we get tonight's game started, I want to tell you about our friends, and we are so proud to tell you about the good people at Triple Crown Roofing. They were uh, one of Chad's Media's very first clients, Blake, Lindsey Johnson, everyone over at Triple Crown Roofing. They are not only the number one roofing company in the area, but they care so much about the community, and they give so much back. They provide customers with superior roofing systems, and their quality and workmanship and products set them apart from other area companies. They're located on Eshan Road, and you can find all their contact information and much more on their website, triplecrownusa.com. I also want to tell you about our friends at Area Wide Paving. With over 20 years of asphalt experience, they have become a trusted asphalt paving contractor and company in Northeast Texas. Owner Paul Pogue is on site to supervise all projects and ensure complete satisfaction. Uh, you can give them a call at 903-885-6388 to choose a locally owned business for all your asphalt paving needs. And now we are uh, 
ready to get started. I'm excited. Is it kickoff? Ready for kickoff? Ready for kickoff. There we go. Not first pitch, tip off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, somebody. We've got a crowd. There. Yeah. No you'll see those. Ball. You'll see both refs on sides. They were counting the players, making sure there's 11 on each side, nice. and and. Uh, and you'll see them on that back line. Is that correct? Well, no. You'll you'll see these guys. All right. Uh, so making a little run already. Looks like Kylie is is already getting some some play. And a shot already. So nice job for Kylie. If she gets a hold of it, she's gonna put that goalie. Getting a shot off within the first 15 seconds. Under, that's uh, she's got that's a leg. attacking. She has got a cannon for a leg. That's for sure. So what they're gonna do too? They're gonna test and and uh, they're gonna test this. You know, it looks like the keeper's not taking the goal kicks. They're gonna have a really good idea. What Obviously, kind of leg this this person is that's doing the goal kicks, and they'll you'll start to see them cheat up a little bit. This might feel entirely too obvious for some of the viewers, but not for everyone. Just make sure we're all on the same page. Silver Springs in black tonight, uh, in North Lamar in white. So I didn't want to read the comments here in five minutes and be like, "All right, who's who?" By the way. So Woody, why is that goalkeeper not taking those kicks? Uh, typically, if a keeper's not taking it, they don't have the strength and leg strength to do it. Uh, you know, you might have have somebody that that has a bigger leg. Like typically on ours, uh, Izzy will take kicks because she is she's got a she's got a leg. huge leg. And then obviously Kylie, when she's playing center back, she'll take those. So I mean, you have somebody that can you know nail it almost to midfield. Uh, you just why not go ahead and take advantage of that? Yeah, that's true. And that's what you'll see sometimes in this district too. We've got a pretty good uh, a couple of keepers that can punt the ball. There's some some of these keepers that we play that they have really struggled getting the ball down the field, and it, it really puts them pins them in a corner if they can't do that and get the ball out. Yeah. What All is right. That? So here we are creating a little bit of run. There's Addy Fenton, a little through ball to Haley. And so we talked earlier about so, you know somewhat forcing. We took a little touch, forced it down. And then just lost possession. It's those type of things. Just being patient. You have three runners going uh, yeah, against a couple of defenders, and you want to take advantage of that that lopsided personnel. So it looks like we got a corner kick coming up as well. It was a deflection off of off of uh, North Lamar. So something for you guys to note too. So when you're on the far side and taking corners, you're going to see Haley Schultz take them. She's okay. a right-footed player. If it's down here on the, the side closest to us on the home side, you're going to see Kylie Clark. All right, a little short pass to Anna, back to Haley, and a nice shot on mm -hmm. goal, a little over. So what, what Kylie's done, she's a lefty, as we've mentioned a couple yeah. times. You, it'll put a little curl in it, and she scored, I believe, three goals this season straight From off a corner. corner kick with nobody wow. deflecting it. So she'll put the defenses under a lot of pressure right off the bat uh, doing that. So we try to get a little little curl on it. All right, here's Kylie right here. And first goal. There, so there you go. Let's go. The Lady Cats already on the board, not even three full minutes into this game. That wow. is goal number 10 on the season for Kylie Clark. So, I'm not trying to act like I, 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 was, I was a fortune <laughs> teller. here, Woody. You are like, the soccer expert. For anyone who three. missed the pregame show. But, Ky for, but Kylie, I had a suspicion she was going to be on the attack tonight. Uh, what Typically what happens is – They'll slide Aniston Price back at center back, which they've done to work that area with, with uh, Izzy. That creates an opportunity to, to slide Kylie up there, and you've seen it in the first three minutes. One strong mm -hmm. shot, and it missed, and then another strong shot that, that went in with some nice ball skills to get there. Yeah, so. already three shots on goal for the Lady Cats tonight, and obviously a 1-0 lead now. Well, and like you said, she plays great defense too. That's so right. So being able to win possessions in the middle of the field and even on the other side, that's, that's big. So we're just up here winning balls. All right, here we go. Here's Kylie again, oh, wide wow. open. Great nice running. little run. I, f I feel like she'll ping it back in the middle, give somebody a nice yep. deflection. Up oh, here and just out by Haley Schultz. Got to love the pressure they're applying early on, though. So what? A, a couple of adjustments. That's what you know, Coach Brenner will do. So with Rowan out tonight, they've put Haley Schultz at, at uh, center forward up there. They've slid Kylie out of the left wing, Jelly Moore on the right side, and then really you have. Uh, Addie Fenton and Anna Williams playing the attacking mid role. So you're going to see a lot of the good chemistry with them. They play together a lot, been playing together for years. I think you're going to see a lot of that happen in just a second. A lot of those give and goes. And I mean, they're, you just see that they see the space and they're really distributing the ball using the width of the field. When we talked about pinging passes together and controlling the pace, if you're watching this live, you're seeing that play out right now in action. All right, and it's another shot and fourth shot. 
That was Addie. No, that was Anna Williams took the shot. It's hard to tell them apart sometimes. Feels like we've All seen kids. a lot of uh, very aggressive on both sides of the ball oh so yeah. far. Winning balls. All right, Anna. She Kylie just passed again. it up to Kylie Clark. And, and another that. shot. Oh. Ooh. Jolie was about two steps oh away from gosh. a nice little uh, one touch. Yeah. Well, when you've seen that a lot, that, that through ball up that left side oh, yeah. of the box, I mean, that's – it's if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? Like they just they just continue to exploit that. You're gonna see that from Anna quite a bit. She'll see Kylie out there, and then she she always finds a way to connect with Haley. It seems like and, yeah. and create some options. They've been playing ball together since elementary school, and uh, so I think you'll see that'll be a common common theme. So North Lamar making a little run and pass taken away by Emily Soto she's to Anna a, Williams. Stud. Yeah, she is a beast on a. On defense. And out there on the, the left side, that is Emma Romero playing left back. While they chase that down real quick, I want to tell you about our friends Marcy Gamel and Micah Sheedy over at Amidus Healthcare, both of which have over a decade of experience. Amidus specializes in after-surgery care or after-hospitalization or a new diagnosis of chronic illness. They also, re they also offered skilled nursing, physical, occupational, and speech therapy, as well as medical social work and certified nurse aides. Can y'all hear the uh, drums going on? Yes. A little bit, yeah. Uh-oh, so here it is. Anna Williams to Haley Schultz. Haley Ooh. just caught a little bit of space. You do not want to give Haley space. She is a speedster. She is a speedster, um, and she's, she's put on a lot of muscle yeah, over the last couple of years, too, and, well, and uh, she's, she's pretty a, dangerous uh, if you give her any space. She's a state cross-country competitor also as well. State cross-country as well as state powerlifting. Oh, man, so, I didn't know about the powerlifting. Yeah. Wow. She's a certified dog. Yes, she is. I think we talked about that last time. If we tried to lift what she lifts, it'd break all of our L's <laughs> in our back, whatever they, those are called. The L1 through infinity. <laughs> That's right. All right, here's Ooh, Kylie Clark Kylie. again. And, oh, my wow. gosh. So she just shot she this ball right over the face of the goal, and it was it was beautiful. Was that one since – was it curving away from the goal? It was. Uh, it was curving saying, away. If, yeah. it's, if it's on the other side, it looks like she could get that uh, shot to kind of go. So what you would like to see is is uh, maybe a, a little bit more of an adjustment as, to, as far as like Jolie out here on the right and Haley maybe trying to cheat up a little bit and, and try to maybe put a body part on it, try to get a head on it because yeah. you know it's coming across with, with some force. Yeah, and you just got to redirect it. You don't have to push it or anything. You just got to right. redirect it. And here's what you're seeing, too. If, uh, you know, the, the North Lamar team, they're really loose with the touches right now. And when you've done that, I think we've taken the ball away every single time. And here's Good Kylie pass. again. And it's another goal. Oh, wow. Oh, top right corner. Nice ball. Wow. Jolie Moore to Kylie Clark. And then the one-two punch finish again. So that's the first uh, less than eight minutes of the game. And two we've goals. had six or seven shots and two goals by Kylie Clark. Started so. the night with nine goals all the way up to 11 already. She is uh – Having herself a night. Yeah, that's big. And when you can apply that pressure early, man, it's just it just does something for the, not only against the other team but for you, you know. But what's what's demoralizing as a team, and believe me, we've seen on the receiving end at both the club ball world and high school, when you're when you're not winning the ball and you're getting the ball taken away from you every time you touch it, it just is frustrating because it, it, you're we're putting pressure on them. And what happens is when when you get contested passes and dribbles. It puts so much pressure, and it's muscle memory, and people panic, and that's kind of what North Lamar is doing right now, panicking a little bit. And uh, so if they can if they can maintain a little bit of composure, it might change some of the momentum. But if they just keep playing uh, playing this way, it's going to be a tough night for them. And it's going to be a goal kick. So it looks like uh, that center back right there, looks like their team captain for North Lamar is going to continue to take the goal kicks. So last time she punched it up about 20, 22 yards, so we'll see if – if uh, our team is going to cheat up a little bit and try to intercept one of these balls. That's that's tough, though. If they can't connect uh, on these goal kick opportunities and they continue to get pressure, it's it's going to be a long night for them. Well, yeah. And if you can't, can't, if you can't maintain possession of the ball on the opponent's side of the field. Right. It, like I said, it just, like I said, it just keeps, you know, mounting. So, if you, I mean, if you'll see, we we're, we're continue to, you know, intercept passes, put pressure on them, uh, create a little bit of space. And it, it just makes it very difficult. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, here we go. Haley Schultz. Ooh. Anna to Haley. It was a little negative ball. So, for folks out there that don't know what a negative ball is, so they're going to dribble closer to the goalkeeper line that, that that goalkeeper stands on. 
and then they're going to pass it backwards uh, to another teammate. So that's why it's called a negative ball. That way so they what? have an opportunity to, to score. Basically, 2v1 versus the keeper, yeah. one touch. See, I love when you explain stuff, Woody, especially soccer. Because if you get into soccer jargon, then you don't really – yeah. Right. No, Explain sometimes. Explain like I'm five, you know what I mean? Right. All right, another little one-two. Every you time I look up, Addy Fenton has the ball, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. And you're, like you said, you're seeing this off these goal kicks. They're failing to maintain possession. That's right. So, this pressure, look at this pressure. Ooh, right there. So, here we go. Addy Fenton again. again. And a shot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, great shot. And so, oh, what no. you'll see right here, so the keeper did not catch it. So, if we will – if we if we recognize that and put pressure, and every time they bobble the ball, have uh -huh. somebody there, it's going to make it even worse. They'll probably bobble it even more. And that's what you got to realize too. So you're you know we're not just running the ball forward. We're going to turn and go the opposite direction, uh, if 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 need be, just to kind of create space and not necessarily. Oh, here we go. So they just pass the ball out for a free corner kick for us. So that's just where you, you get into it. I get it. You get put on your heels. You're under attack for the. It feels like we've been playing 20 minutes. It's been nine. Yeah. So they're they're they're. they're I'm sure they're bored. tired and worn out. And so, you know, you just think about clearing the ball. You want to clear it anywhere. You do not want to give a free corner kick. Yeah. So, but we got one and hopefully take advantage of it. And deflection off North Lamar. We're gonna get one more try. Well, and like you said, it's like anything but a corner. You know. Kick it as far laterally as possible and get it out so it's a throw in at least. And so what you'll see, uh, Kylie's there on the far side. Uh, Anna's number one at the center. Both of those girls will put a head on it if they have an opportunity. A uh, little farther outside, but looks like we're going to regain control of it. Mm. And just out of bounds. Mm. That one gets away from her, but. So what I want you guys to, to pay attention to is, is once North Lamar gets it, uh, and, they're, and they're making passes, watch their first touch. Do they receive it, uh, and, and do they maintain control and maintain their composure, or do they not? When they do not do that, we typically have been winning the ball and just putting them all kinds of pressure. All right, one more chance. Oh, good move. Oh, my gosh, oh, and it is, wow. uh, it is a goal. Anna Williams wow. Wow, right Anna. at the 18 yards out. If you, We call it the 18 uh, right outside the goal box from where the keeper stands to the goal box. It's 18 yards, so she was right there at the top, that was about 18-yard laser beam. a beautiful shot. Top post and just let it bang in. That's what you like to see, get bottled up. Uh, didn't try to force it. She turned it around with some ball skills, created space, and cranked it with her right foot. Yeah, That's what like you like said, to see for a finish. Maintain composure, didn't freak out. Just, you know, made something happen. Goal number seven on the year for Anna Williams. She's a stud. Golly. But about soccer, I think I've said the word composure a couple times. But I think if you sum it up, whether you're on Sulphur Springs or you're on North Lamar or some other team, the, the teams that can maintain composure, they typically do well. If, you, if you're if you down 2-0 and freak out, it's going to be a tough game. But if you can just keep your calm and, and, and reset – and get back to your game plan, that's half the battle. But when yeah. you get rattled, it makes it really tough. Well, it's like you said, like the – from right. what I'm seeing from North Lamar, it looks like anytime they get the touch, they're, they're freaking out and they're like, we got to push it, we got to go, we got to go. They're not trying to just maintain possession. Like you said, ping some passes together. And well, yeah, and especially now trailing by three, you know, I think you're even more – and that's also, too, I mean, I have to reiterate that, not trying to knock North Lamar. It, I, I've certainly been there as a soccer dad. It's just part of the game. Uh, and, and once you get in that mode, it's really tough to overcome. And so uh, that's just part part of it. All right, so back at it. Uh, a tough pass intercepted by Addie Fenton. Coming back down, looks like they're going to have – Oh, it's a good pass. Rebecca Stanley's in the game. Watch out for these ball skills. And throw Plus in. Going out of bounds. Great clear. While well, we got a second, I want to tell you about our friends over at J-Hod Chevrolet, the most awarded vehicles at the most awarded de dealership. Hurry on and visit J-Hod Chevrolet on Wildcat Way, where you can get a new Chevy Silverado 1500 for 2.99% APR for 60 months or a $2,500 cash allowance. Call them at 903-307-2077 to see how they could put you in a new vehicle today. Don't ever pay. Go, Go CJ. CJ. I like it. So, Rebecca Stanley uh, came in the game, and, and guys, I know we talked about her a little bit the last broadcast, but uh, came back from a tough knee injury, and every week that goes on, uh, the confidence and, and really trying new things and, and challenging for balls, and you see the confidence growing, 
Uh, and hey, I would I'd be nervous if I was out there after a, an injury like oh, that. Yeah, so she's done sure. a really good job, and coach has done a really good job of easing her back in the right way. And so uh, she's been fun to watch. She has tremendous ball skills. Y'all see some of it on display tonight. I would imagine it's fun to watch. Well, and that's a girl like you said, like when you've got those off weeks and you're scheduling the Annas and the Lindales and all that. That's who's going to benefit a lot from it, getting more comfortable playing the game, you know, pushing their body, those kind of things. That's right. Ooh. All right, and Emma Romero with the nice uh, ball little skills tuck. to Anna Williams. Uh, looks like there's going to be a run maybe uh, and a oh. little too heavy on the touch there. Did she save it? Oh, she saved it there for a second. Looked like there was going to be a little Kylie Clark connection there, but a little heavy on the touch. Well, and, you know, when you're up 3-0, you can get a little risky. What would you equate being up 3-0 in soccer to in other sports? Oh, I mean, I mean, that's got to be like a 20 point basketball that's, league, that's right? What it feels Ma like to maybe me. more. Maybe I mean, more. I always, I always uh, compare it to football, but like, you know, we won nine to nothing last game against yeah. Pittsburgh, you know, and it, that's like a, winning 63 to nothing in football. Right. I mean, yeah, you, it's just you think like, it's like a, to me, it's a three yeah. score lead. Yeah. So that's being up 21 zip on a team. But you're able to do that in the first 10, 15 minutes of the game. Oh, dude. You know, it really changes the whole entire tactical game plan, um, which, like, you know, they're, they're, I would I would suspect that that uh, you know we'll continue to try to score score goals and and force the ball forward. But oh, yeah. as the second half comes in, if it continues at this pace, we'll start to see some players rotate out, rotate out, get some minutes uh, for for a lot of kids out there. It's pretty fun seeing everybody play. Oh yeah, this is like uh, taking the opening kickoff for a back for a touchdown. Oh yeah, getting an interception for a touchdown and then taking the other kickoff for a touchdown. That's right. I like the scoreboard y'all have set up over here. You like that? Yeah. Hopefully now the uh, the viewers have a – it beats me saying how much time there is every few minutes. <laughs> if we ever have a tough game that we're not doing well, we'll just turn the scoreboard. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nice pass year. from Jolie Moore. Crossing it over. Oh, my gosh. Let's keep applying that pressure. And then here's Addie Jones going to launch it. And corner kick corner. coming up. Looks like you're going to see Kylie Clark. So they rotated Kylie back at center back. And so it looks like they gave uh, Isabel Tessing a little bit of a breather. So like we talked about before, you're going to see Kylie. I can 100% with confidence say she's going to try to curl this ball in. It would be pretty cool <laughs> oh, if I just called it. it. I'd love to see it. If you Tony romo this thing. I mean, she's done it a lot. And that now she has ruined our expectations. That's what everybody's like, come on, <laughs> you got to get it. Let's see what happens here. Oh, she launched it. But there's a header, Anna. Oh, oh. and it'll over the goal. But so that's the cool thing. You'll see several girls that, that uh, aren't afraid to head the ball. Uh, Anna will head it a lot. You'll see when Kendall Farrell comes in. I think Kendall wins every single header that comes her way. Kylie will, uh, you know, head it quite a bit. Izzy will head it. Uh, a lot of opportunities there. If you can put a head on a corner and direct it into, in the general direction, that's an important deal. So they rotated – they brought Becca Stanley in, and they rotated Haley out uh, over on the uh, left wing side. Fenton again coming up with it. And, oh, Ooh, that, that was, was nice, almost a great pass. Nice through ball to Haley. Uh, I was – I was, all right, coming up the middle of the field. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Nice, move. nice shot. Nice shot. It was uh, from about 23 yards out. Not quite the leg on Some it. That solid handles there, though. Yeah. And then uh, Soto, Emily Soto, with the she's winning winning balls tonight, playing mm -hmm. a nice game. Uh oh, here we go. Pass. Jolie Moore and Pass. oh, oh and nice. oh, let's go. So Jolie, the keeper saves it and she gets her own rebound and puts it in. Nice ball, nice follow up. That's those are sometimes the hardest to make. Your oh. adrenaline's pumping. You just got one blocked. Yeah. Uh, unintentionally passed it, you know, shot it right to the right keeper. Back, but, man, yeah. made yeah, up for it. Yeah, the focus to stay with it and everything. That's awesome. Well, absolutely. That makes a four to nothing lead for the Lady Cats. And we want to tell you about our friends, DMB Loans, your hometown loan specialist and tax repair. Located on Gilmer Street, DMB Loans is family owned and operated with over 30 years of experience. They offer personal loans of anywhere from $100 to $3,000. They also offer in house financing on high quality furniture and appliances from sofas to bedroom sets, mattress sets, and more. And and uh, this is a big deal. They offer tax prep and utility bill pay. So uh, now would definitely be the time to go give them a visit. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 
So there, if you watched, it looked like a uh, a hockey uh, line change just now. So we have had. So we're up 4-0, 23 minutes left in the half. And then I'm going to try to get some of the names out there, but there were several, like on the right back, the right defensive side, uh, Camilla Martinez. Uh, she just came in the game. Looks like you have number 11. No, is that number 11? Yes, yeah. that's Malia Doss. She just came in the game. Uh, and then it looks like Kendall Farrell. She's playing the holding mid. She's number 13. 13 yeah. So uh, nice rotation. Uh, Kendall starts a lot of games. Uh -oh, here we go, a little run. Nice tackle by North Lamar taking the ball, and we gained it right back. There's some of the ball skills we talked Man, about with Rebecca Stanley. Love to see what the time of possession has been in this one. Uh oh, nice save. Oh, good hustle. And to stay with it still. Here we go. Nice ball. It was a Ooh. great little shot by Rebecca Stanley there. So. Hey, you know, on these on these deals, I forget what you were just saying. Was we thought we were going to score a goal, but it is fun. The time of possession—that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, really, what you look at, you know, a 50-50 time of possession is is pretty standard in a in a, in a nail biter. I'll bet you we've had possession of the ball 80 to 85 percent. I was going to say this, at least 80 percent. It feels like, yeah. Nice little one-two punch. Oh, that's amazing. Can we, she get there? And with the keeper, oh, nice, nice work, save. Keep. So that I said one-two punch, otherwise known as the give-and-go. So essentially, <laughs> uh, Anna passed it to Becca. Becca anticipated where she was going to be and played it into space, and Anna got it right back and turned their defense right around. You'll see a lot of give-and-go activity from our team. That We do a pretty good job of it. And you're just running the other team ragged when you're able to do that and, and use some anticipation and some chemistry to do it. So you were explaining some of the changes. Is Kylie Clark further back right now than she was earlier? Correct. So okay. she started off on the attack out at the left uh, left forward side. She's back at center back. Yeah, you her, can see her, her with the ball now on the screen. Which goes back to what you were talking about earlier, someone that's that good on defense and still uh, gets a lot of goals and everything. That's right. And then I believe out there on the left wing, uh, Vanessa Wayne, I believe that's who came in. Uh, I think that's who it is. It's hard to see from up here. Yeah, that, that's it. She's number 16. Keeper finally getting some action for Silver Springs. And that and that is uh, the first time our keepers touched the ball, I yep. believe, isn't it? I was going I to make that. the statement myself, but I was like, I want to make sure I'm correct about that. I think you're right. Almost the, midway through this first. That's the furthest I've panned this camera left. I'll say that. <laughs> and then number 17, you have Valerie Flecker. She came in. She's got a pair of goals on the season so far. That's right. Uh-oh, nice vision. Oh, great ball. Anytime you want to feed the ball to Rebecca Stanley. Uh, Looked like Malia was trying to make a run on the right side and just didn't Yeah, didn't time it perfectly. And then Angel Cruz right here, number 20. So, I mean, that's just naturally part of it. So, we, we made a, a, a sweeping change of sub, subs. The, that, that does in any sport. It impacts your chemistry. You're starting to see – North Lamar touched the ball a few more. We're not in any danger, yeah. but you, you're starting to see a, a, just a different level. We're not completely dominating the possession. We're loosely touching it. We're losing some balls. That's pretty pretty normal to see that type of stuff happen. But these girls have been sitting there waiting, being cold, probably just getting out there, <laughs> have some jitters. So they need a time to, to settle in. Yeah. They're trying to warm up too. Throw in coming in. Midway through the first year and already a 4-0 lead. Yeah, already feels like these Lady Cats are in complete and total. I feel control. like I should say 4-0, yeah. Yeah, come on now. Well, yeah, at least get the lingo right. Just like nobody's offsides, you know. Not not offsides, but offside. Yes. Yeah. Was see, it you or Slade learned. that was telling us that? It, it was, it was you, right? Yeah. yeah. Slade didn't know it. <laughs> Slade right, said, I'll call it what I want. That's right. I think Slade called it a false start. So <laughs> That's funny. Illegal procedure. <laughs> but having ha – I mean, Kylie, will you – I mean, you saw some of her ball skills really on display, scoring a couple of goals and controlling on the offensive side. That She really does the same thing. Against top talent, too, she's going to win balls and use 
a lot of her skill in order to, to create some space and distribute the ball out of there. Sometimes she has to clear it out with force, but she's usually be able to just confidently pass it out of there. Yeah, we've seen her do up. a little bit of everything here tonight, even with the, the corner kicks and everything. That's right. Drums are here. Oh, by the way, y'all know who that is, right? That's the Stanley Boys. We talked about them on the horse. Yeah. So they they've got the Vuvuzela going. Yeah, they've got the 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 drum. I mean, it's like a little mini band. They're they're in full force. They, they like what they're seeing out of these Lady Cats. So I was thinking it knocked off of uh, Rebecca there. I was thinking that was going to be close to a corner kick coming up. But yeah, I thought it was going to be as well. So that's just kind of – sometimes we're, we're – that's the kind of ball right there. We should be attacking we, if, we, if we miss and have a loose touch, just created a turnover. And uh, sometimes those aren't necessary, but that's how you learn, like right now. So there's Kylie working out of a, a, a soft Jam. pass. Turn that girl around and, and, uh, and just really got us out of a bad situation. So, but you'll see it. No, it nobody called it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Kylie to save the day. Yeah. Kylie to – I like it all over him. Lost the ball and, yep. and uh, pressured right back there to create a turnover. See, to me that's been one of the biggest difference between these two teams. I mean, anytime North Lamar's had to just clear it, obviously the Lady Cats come right back with it. But anytime the Lady Cats have had to clear it like that, they find a way to get possession of the ball as yes. well. You'll hear coaches say that too. Hey, you're not going to win every ball. You're going to make mistakes. But if you lose a ball, you got five or six seconds to go get it back. Don't let somebody else go get it. Go win your ball back. And so we're creating that constant pressure, whether we're either on the offensive side or not. And, man, it, it really does. It, it, it creates lots of different opportunities for us for sure. Well, and they're not compounding mistakes of losing balls by being, you know, lazy and just, you know, not caring. They're, they're actively fighting to get it back. But, see, some of these things right here, like Becca just lost the ball. But, man, having her being able to battle in between two different players and, and uh, you know, just confidently go there and try to win a ball that, yeah. that was really theirs. And she, like, that she, wasn't, she wasn't actively attacking that right when she first came back. So that's the confidence I was talking about, just getting in traffic and uh, knowing you may or may not win, uh, but getting out there and battling. That's good to see. Oh, I thought she was about to push that through ball to Malia on the side. And it's going to be Malia Sulphur Springs throw in. Which, Corey, well, we got a second. There's some friends I want to tell you about, and I think you would be interested in these. Uh, oh. It's our friends over at Donnie's Heat and Air. Hey. Donnie's Heat and Air Conditioning Service is locally owned and operated with over 25 years of experience, and they look forward to serving you. Call 903-307-9786 for same-day service or visit them on East Shannon Road. Donnie's Heat and Air for all your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning needs. I think you could definitely oh, nice through ball. use some help from them right now. I can tell you right now, they're, they're who I trust. Absolutely. Might have to see if they can find a way to hook you up out there on the oh yeah on the stream deck. Oh, Donnie and Mason need to come see me out here on the the film deck. They could probably hook you up. I need something. Right you need now. a bigger jacket. You're wearing a hoodie, man. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I want one of those soccer jackets. That's what I want. That's the best thing I ever bought at Nike Parka. See, and, I uh, want one. I just would use it two times a year. Yeah, but it'd be really worth it those two times. Oh, great. Ooh. Great ball up that side, and then we just win it right back. There's Izzy back on the field. Tessing. Tessing, not to be confused with Thessing. You, cut, you taught me that one last year, or last time we were here. You I know, wear. these parkas, I'm telling you, though, guys, like I wear a hoodie, and like when I'm outside and, and just, you know, not calling a game with you guys, I'll wear a hoodie. And then I'll wear that on top. I never get cold. It's just they're you so warm. You don't even shiver, do you? No, it, it's really cool. And I'll remember, never forget. I, you know, club teams they change names and buy mm -hmm. and sell. And I remember one time they had a, I had a, a buddy said, "Man, you need to put this logo on there." And I said, "I'm not putting a logo on there <laughs> because the team's gonna change names five times, and I'm still gonna be wearing this jacket." Right. Yeah. By the time I've worn this thing a couple so times, every time I see him, I'm like, "Hey, man, good thing I didn't put that logo on there." Cause and so, but I, I, every time I wear that, I think of that story because anyway. So it's a parka. That's what it's parka, called. Parka. Yep. I always call it just a soccer jacket. Yep. <laughs> but that you know, it had long kind of knee length. You can zip it up from the bottom to where you can kind of still sit down and yeah. And oh, they thought of everything with those things. Oh yeah. 
Well, we got a second one to tell you about our friend Katie Adair with Janet Martin Realty. She is your hometown realtor. Get into the real estate market can be overwhelming and intimidating. So who better to go with than the best hometown realtor who knows the people of Hopkins County and their real estate needs. Nobody works harder and is happier to help the people of Hopkins County than Katie. Give her a call at 903-243-2304 or email katie at janetmartinrealty.com. That is Katie, K-A-T-I, to see how she can put you in a new home today. Big fans of Katie. Got to see her the other day. Where'd y'all see her at? She was in the office. Nice. Yeah. And then I know Corey's a There's a parka action. Got some parka action yeah, for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, Katie's great. I love Katie. She uh, showed a house for me a handful of times. All right, so free kick. You know, she is the hometown realtor. So it's, Hardest it's, working, too. I know. That's how that's who you should be going with for sure. All right, free kick coming up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Those man. are the ones you want to try to get a foot. A head, head, something. Elbow, a fingernail, it don't matter. <laughs> but that was a, a good little free kick. Sometimes, so that was about, that was the, from the 20-yard line further out. That about, might have been 20, 24 yards out. Pretty pretty big kick. So I like the fact that just lofting it up there and giving somebody else to put a, mm -hmm. put a part on it. Didn't try to force anything. All right, so here we go. A nice little ball to Rebecca Stanley. And a ball up to Malia. See if she's going to shoot it. Oh my gosh! Right, right outside. So nice little shot. And what do you? I, what I love seeing with these lady cats is uh, the maturity of they're not trying to force anything. You know, they don't. No, nobody's really like, you know, changed the way they're playing. Correct. So what? One thing you'll see on on some of these deals. Oh, a little push there. But coming in and they're they're just trying to clear the ball out of there at any at any cost. Oh, man. But so so we just you know dribbled it out. Oh. We dribbled it out really to the uh, – pretty far out, and we shot it. That's a really, really tough angle to score a goal from. What you'll see a lot of times is passing it over the face of the goal and trying to let somebody else put a put a, uh, put a, a better – Touch on it. You know, have a better percentage type shot going on. Yeah. So, sometimes those are tough to deal with. Get a tight angle. So, 11 minutes left Ooh, in this uh, first half. And this girl just – I was thinking she dribbled it straight out I bounds, thought she did as well. It's really hard to see over here, but you're going to see that wide open Valerie Flecker. And it looks like it's going to be a Sulphur Springs corner kick. I want to thank every single one of you all for hanging out with us on the live stream tonight. Another live stream you can catch this weekend is that of our friends of the Way Bible Church. They want to welcome you home on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. or 1045 you can catch that live stream I was telling you about at 1045 at TWBCSS.com, Facebook, or YouTube. Come find a place to belong at the Way Bible Church. All right, so keep your eyes on number 13, Kendall Farrell, right there coming up, or number one, Anna Williams. Uh, they both will try to put a head on it if they have the opportunity to do so. Uh, look, like, look for them to make a run. So Kendall's making a oh. – thought she was kind of running at the far post there for a second. Lady Cat's able to keep possession of it. All right, coming up, Angel Cruz. Let's see if she can get rid of this ball and let's look at the space. That's a pretty tough shot from from uh, 27 Kendall? yards out. Yeah, she has the leg though. She's bombed some in from just a ridiculous uh, space back. On I think occasion. she did last time we were here. Did she? If I remember right. All right, nice oh, little give touch. and go. We talked about that. Great job by Anna to uh, avoid the pressure and then just keep pushing it. And she's taking it straight to the house. Oh, my gosh. And that defender, nice defending by the uh, North Lamar player there. Really capped off a nice run. I thought there was going to be a shot coming. She came out of nowhere. Mm. So, it looks like they're rotating four more players back in. Uh, so, it looks like uh, – let's see who's coming in. looks like Zoe Crump's coming out. So, she's going to come over and play on the right – Forward side, taking Malia Doss's place. Who else is coming back in? I don't know if Haley was in there or not, but Haley's, Haley's playing a different position. Looks like she's playing back at center forward. Addie Fenton looks like she's going to go play uh, back at the attacking mid spot where she where she came from. Ooh. That's going to be a card, I bet you. That was a pretty tough foul. I wouldn't be surprised if they come over, at least give her a talking to. 
that w that in in a lot of circumstances that could have been a yellow card. Yeah, that was that was rough. Something that always uh, kind of uh, scares me about soccer here at Gerald Prim Stadium is that concrete mm -hmm. skirt I would say around the field. I've seen a lot of players, even in football, just kind of hit that and just. Yeah, you're like running over there, and then you go from turf to concrete. Yeah, it's. And it's something. I mean, we talk forgiving. I just we just talked about cards for a second, but like you don't, we haven't seen a ton of cards. I mean, if it gets really out of control from a physical standpoint, that really could have been. It was a late hit into the concrete. Uh, that wouldn't have surprised me if they did a card, but that's not something you'd really argue. It's kind of a judgment call. It wasn't blatant. I mean, she didn't didn't look like it did it on purpose. But yeah. sometimes these girls get frustrated, take it out, and you'll start you know trying to manage the game a little bit. You'll see a, a, a card shown, but we really hadn't seen any of this. Yeah, year. I could see that you're down 4-0, and not only are you down 4-0, but you haven't even really had possession much. I mean, that no. would definitely get frustrating. You've only had – have you had a shot on goal? Right. I don't think – I don't – I think they kind of dribbled one up, but that was pretty pretty much it. I wouldn't say a, like a realistic expected goal yet, you know. What you'll see with cards, though, so if somebody got a card, a yellow card, and then they got another one, then that's that, that basically red. equates yeah. a red, and so they're out of the game. And they and, lose uh, the player. That's right. Yeah, they, they're down a man uh, or a, a woman for this instance. Now, does that carry over into the next match? or? You know what? I, I don't know. High school has some, some interesting rules, um, and, and I don't really know the answer. We don't see enough cards to really know. I know in a lot of leagues, like an accumulation of so many yellow cards over the course of a season can, uh, can make a difference, but I just don't know how that works on the high school ranks. I think in playoffs it, it carries over, if I remember right. right. Now, I'm not for sure. Don't, you know. There's so many different rules. Like, we're looking at a play clock. Uh, like, right now, it's just like a football game. So, when it goes to zero, it's halftime. Well, in normal soccer games. You have stoppage time. You, you ha you're starting from minute zero and working your way up to 45 mm -hmm. minutes. And then there's stoppage time, and it's all ref discretion. So, if there's somebody, you know – injuries and or somebody's flopping or there's they're going and chasing balls or yeah. free kicks or having to card people you know in the world cup you saw eight nine minutes of extra time yeah, each that, half. Became, that became the norm yeah so that's an interesting part so you got you know 30 seconds left for a corner kick everybody's racing up there because there is no stoppage time yeah, in high school ball now so, so say the ball's in the air in that 30 seconds it's it's null and void at that point you know what i don't know the rule to that i don't know the i don't know the what the high school rule would be interesting i think it's uh that would be a tough way to not have a court go oh, yeah. goal called that would be <laughs> that'd be rough be like if mbappe scored you know in stoppage time in the, the world cup and they're just like ah, oh, that didn't count so it looks like there's zoe crump and then Addie fenton went on the other side so she's over at the the left forward side now too so, see that negative ball? So, it would be impossible to shoot from there. So, Haley just popped it over to Rebecca Stanley and, uh, you know, that had it more of an opportunity to score uh, yeah. more realistic. So, you'll see them either pass it back from a negative ball standpoint or cross it over the face of the goal, try to get somebody to connect with a header. It's yeah, when standard. you're able to push your line up closer to the goal, you know. And that's something you watch out too. That's a pretty high kick right there, like a cleat right by Kendall Farrell's face. Uh, didn't look like they saw it, but that, that can get a little little dicey too. Well, and Kendall's a tall girl too. She's oh yeah. yeah, Kendall's done a good job. If you if you watch the way she receives the ball, she'll turn she'll turn her hips the right way where she's facing the right way, uh, and and uh, and receives it with a soft touch, maintains possession quite a bit. Uh, she's done a pretty good job this game and and throughout the season. And then there's Izzy winning the ball to Kendall. Back to Addie Fenton. And it looks like uh, we have somebody making a run, Jolie Moore. Oh, she got it too. I was kind of thinking maybe a give and go there. Yeah, yeah that's kind of what I thought. That would have been a good opportunity for it. I think I don't don't know if she had her back turned to her. She might not have seen the run happening. Yeah, and I think maybe by the time she saw it, it was just a little bit too yeah. late. On those that's things, it's all about anticipation. You got to mm -hmm. know you're doing it before they pass the ball to you. Yeah, it's kind of one of those you have to decide before that ball ever gets to you what you're gonna do. Real quick, want to give a huge shout-out to our friends over at Alliance Bank. Here at Chad's Media, we know the love and support that Alliance Bank has for the Sulphur Springs Wildcats and Lady Cats. Stop by and see them on the square or use one of their many convenient drive through services. You can also visit AllianceBank.com for all your financial and banking needs or give them a call at 903-885-2187. 
Now, Woody, real quick, can you explain just kind of the difference between a, a heavy touch and, you know, a good touch so like as, as you're receiving the ball? So, look at that. So, Addy just received the ball. Okay, here's a nice little run. Those girls have, have uh, played past the ball together a lot. So, when you receive it, like soft touch, heavy touch. So, right there, a soft touch. Uh, we just did not touch it there and created a little bit of pressure. So, just maintaining control. A heavy touch. Uh, if it bounces off of your foot potentially, or if you're dribbling and, it, and, and, and you're trying to keep the ball within a couple of steps from you to maintain the, the uh, control of the ball, but you take a little heavier touch and maybe there's 10 or 12 yards in between you and the ball. Yeah. So it's, it's really about the control aspect of it. And so sometimes heavy touches are a little more intentional. Sometimes they are not intentional. Uh, so that's kind of what – that's almost like describing when you're passing to feet or passing to space. There's gotcha. a time for both of them. Gotcha. So but a heavy touch is like you're trying to get the ball out in front of you so you can run, catch up to it. Right, and and sometimes if they're trying to receive the ball and it just deflects off and bangs off their foot, I yeah. might you know I might call that a, a a heavy heavy touch too, one of the intentional varieties. But there is you know, we, I mean we chase soccer games all over all the time, so we know it. the soccer jargon, but uh, some better than I do. I'm just a, a soccer dad, but. Uh, spent a lot of time around it and everything, but it is the, the terminology is certainly different. Like that's the field here, but they call it the pitch, uh, and and it's just weird weird names. Yeah, for I was it, also really. curious if that carries over from like if soccer jargon here in East Texas is a little different than you know. No, I think it's pretty similar li like that, but what a lot of that stuff is like English related stuff. Right. If you, if you ever watch English Premier League games, they're readily available. You can watch it on any Saturday morning. And uh, watching English, I yeah. Right. Well, yeah. There's they're on several networks, and but it's neat hearing you know the way they call a game and and uh, and the terminology that they use. It's it's very cool to see it. I've also noticed a different like the younger generations seem to really be getting more and more and more yeah. into that. Yeah, Cheeky I mean, tips, man. It, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Hey, it's neat. I had a conversation with a with a friend of mine, and you know their kids are in elementary school. There's actually a, a, a some boys and some girls. At, at the elementary school age, and their parents are really getting in and trying to figure out if club soccer is going to be the route for them or not. You know, I had a good conversation, about a 30, 45-minute conversation with a buddy of mine the other day, and it's just me and a couple of buddies had that same conversation when our kids were in in, in elementary school and figuring out do we want to make that commitment because mm -hmm. it's a family commitment. It's not just a financial one, but, like, do I want to go? Right. All right, hang on. There's a nice run. Oh, oh my gosh, nice nice adjustment by, by – uh, uh oh, Ooh. she got pushed down in the box and no call. But no Becca call. Stanley is about to score anyway. So nice goal. Didn't need five zero. Wow. Nice recovery. Haley Schultz gets fouled in the box. No call, and then no big deal. We'll Rebecca anyways. Stanley just picked it up, used a little ball skills, razzle dazzle, and just passed it in the goal. So now uh, her and Anna Williams each entered the night with six goals, and now both at seven. There you go. Wow. Man, very very interesting, and that's in. Rotating minutes, a lot of girls getting to play, a lot of different personnel out there, and still being able to attack and be able to, to produce some goals. Yeah, that that's makes pretty stuff impressive. Happen. Real quick, I want to remind everyone uh, at halftime, we're going to take a quick break and make sure some of our sponsors get to get a few words in, and then we'll be back for the Second remainder half. of this game. Yeah. I'm curious, we're going to have to name a uh, Slaughter's Barbecue Player of the Game at some point, and there are a number of players making a strong case for it. Obviously, Kylie Clark with a a uh, pair of goals already. But we were talking about the, the commitment and things like that. Man, hey, club ball, you don't have to play club ball to be a good soccer player, but primarily with the ones you see that are having success, Ooh. a lot of the teams you're having a lot of success are littered with club players. Dallas, Texas is, the, is a mecca for club quality soccer. youth soccer, and uh, you're playing against the toughest competition. Oh, my gosh, nice cross by Haley. You're playing against the toughest competition that you can imagine. There's no time to think about a pass. There's no time to think about a dribble. There, there's somebody's always contesting and challenging you. You've got to use ball work to, to maneuver out of a bad situation confidently. And so, you know, that is a lot of hard work. There's, you know, our daughter drives to Rockwall every Tuesday and Thursday for club ball practice. Not everybody wants to do that. Yeah. And th as parents, we drove them for a long time. <laughs> and so, but that's the hard work. But this plan on a Friday night 
at Gerald Prim Stadium, this is where it pays off. This is fun. All these yeah. girls have played against each other all these years. They're able to come back and play together. Pretty awesome, man. Yeah, that's a great first half. 5 nil lead for the Lady Cats. Uh, real quick before we go to the halftime show, I want to tell you about our friends over at Essential Business Solutions. Your organization's network and IT problems can come out of nowhere. Let Essential Business Solutions do all the IT work for you. For managed IT services, disaster recovery, and backup solutions, new hardware, and other IT services as needed, give them a call at 903 903- 335-7581 Essential Business Solutions. They make technology accessible. Like I said, real quick, we want to hear a word from some of our sponsors and then we will be back for the remainder of this game. Let me tell you about our new friends over at Essential Business Solutions. Your organization's network and IT problems can come out of nowhere. Let Essential Business Solutions do all the IT work for you. For managed IT services, disaster recovery, and backup solutions, new hardware and other IT services is needed. Give them a call at 903 903- 335-7581. Essential Business Solutions. They make technology accessible. Here in Salford Springs, we like to support our own people. If you're looking for a hometown guy to cover you on all your home, auto, and life insurance needs, Josh Boatman is the clear answer. With Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, nobody knows the people of Hopkins County and their insurance needs better than Josh. Give Josh a call at 903-348-1527 or email him at jboatman at txfb-ins.com to see how he can help you today. The Way Bible Church wants to welcome you home on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. or 1045. You can also catch our live stream at 1045 at TWBCSS.com, Facebook, or YouTube. Come find a place to belong at The Way Bible Church. DMB Loans is your hometown loan specialist and tax preparer. Located on Gilmer Street, DMB Loans is family owned and operated with over 30 years of experience. They offer personal loans of anywhere from $100 to $3,000. They also offer in house financing on high quality furniture and appliances from sofas to bedroom sets, mattress sets, and more. They also offer tax prep and utility bill pay. J. Hodge Chevrolet, the most awarded vehicles at the most awarded dealership. A Mark of Excellence award winner, J. Hodge Chevrolet has also won awards for Best Automotive Dealership and Best Auto Repair Shop. They're such big supporters of the Sulphur Springs Wildcats, they're even located on Wildcat Way. Find new roads to J. Hodge Chevrolet. Give them a call at 903-307-307. 2077. Don't overpay, go CJ. Hooten's Hardware and Emory features brands you know and love, such as Cub Cadet, Echo, Milwaukee, Skag Power Equipment, Steel, and much more. Hooten's Hardware, they're more than just nuts and bolts. You can visit Hooten's on East Lennon Drive in Emory. Call Hooten's today at 903 473 8788 or visit their website, hootensteel.com. Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs is dedicated to helping you find the perfect manufactured or modular home for your family. Whether you're still researching or ready to find your dream home today, our team is committed to answering any questions you might have. Visit ClaytonofSulphurSprings.com or give them a call at 903-438-0820 to see how they can make your family's dreams come true. Here at Chad's Media, we know the love and support that Alliance Bank has for the Sulphur Springs Wildcats. Stop by and see them on the square or use one of their many convenient drive through services. You can also visit AllianceBank.com for all your financial and banking needs or give them a call at 903-885-2157. Let me tell you about our new friends at Vink's Pest Control. Locally owned and operated, they are the go-to source for effective pest control. Give them a call for any of your pest control needs, residential or commercial. They also offer a 100% guarantee If you're still seeing pests after treatment, they will come back at no cost. You can visit their website, vinkspestcontrol.com, or give them a call at 972-855-8469 to get a free quote today. Vink's Pest Control, experts who care. Bulkley Trucking, based in Brashear, has earned a reputation as a highly reliable, timely, and professional carrier, and you could be the next member of the Bulkley team. At Bulkley, it's about family. They guarantee weekly pay as well as flexible hours. They also are very accommodating as they offer training programs and CDL testing on site. Give them a call at 903-582-2305 or visit BulkleyTrucking.com to see how you can apply today. Donnie's Heat and Air Conditioning Service is locally owned and operated with over 25 years of experience and looks forward to serving you. Call 903-307-9786 for same day service or visit them on East Shannon Road. Donnie's Heat and Air for all your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning needs. Let me tell you about our good friends over at Area Wide Paving. With over 20 years of asphalt paving experience, Area Wide Paving has become a trusted asphalt paving contractor and company 
in Northeast Texas. Owner Paul Pogue is on site to supervise all projects, ensuring complete satisfaction as well as his company's reputation. Give them a call at 903-885-6388 to see how you can choose a locally owned business for all your asphalt paving needs. Let me tell you about our friends Marcy Gamble and Micah Clark over at Amidus Healthcare, both of which have over a decade of experience. Amidus specializes in after surgery care or after hospitalization or a new diagnosis of chronic illness. They also offer skilled nursing, physical, occupational, and speech therapies, as well as medical social work and certified nurse aides. They provide local leadership and are involved in the community. Stop by and see Amidus Healthcare today. Jones Custom Structures offers a number of custom structures specific to any of your needs. They offer storage buildings, cabins, carports, shops, metal homes, steel building kits, as well as dirt and concrete work, offices, greenhouses, barn dominiums, covered areas, and barns. Give them a call at 903-440-3680 or email jonesfirewood at yahoo.com to see how they can meet any of your building needs. Chick-fil-A is where everyone is the guest of honor, no matter your lifestyle or taste buds. Grilled, fried, or spicy, there is something for everyone. Delivering and catering available for all those hungry cats. Order in-store or on the Chick-fil-A app. We look forward to seeing you soon. Go Wildcats. Katie Adair with Janet Martin Realty is your hometown realtor. Getting into the real estate market can be overwhelming and intimidating. Who better to go with than the best hometown realtor who knows the people of Hopkins County and their real estate needs? Katie was born and raised here in Hopkins County, and she even taught at SSISD for six years. Nobody works harder and is happier to help the people of Hawkins County than Katie Adair. Give her a call at 903-243-2304 or email her at katie at janetmartinrealty.com. That is Katie, K-A-T-I, to see how she can put you in a new home today. And we are back from Gerald Prem Stadium. Just a couple minutes left here in uh, this halftime. Your Sulphur Springs Lady Cats lead over North Lamar by a score of five to nothing. Before we get started, uh, before we bring Woody and Corey back in here, I want to tell you about our friends over at Clayton Homes. Uh, Clayton Homes of Sulphur Springs is dedicated to helping you find the perfect manufactured or modular home for your family. Whether you're still researching or ready to find your dream home today, their team is committed to answering any questions you might have. Visit ClaytonofSulphurSprings.com or give them a call at 903-438-0820 to see how they can make your family's dreams come true. And I also want to tell you about our friends over at Jones Custom Structures. They offer a number of custom structures specific to any of your needs. They offer storage buildings, cabins, carports, shops, metal homes, steel building kits, as well as dirt and concrete work, offices, greenhouses, barn dominiums, covered areas, barns, you name it. Give them a call at 903-440-3680 or email jonesfirewood at yahoo.com to see how they can meet any of your building needs. Also, don't forget, I know uh, I don't have to remind Corey <laughs> out there, but uh, obviously it, it's chilly, it's cold. They've got you covered on any of your firewood needs as well, so stay warm by calling Jones Custom Structures. They've got you covered. Woody, I mean, obviously there's a, a ton to like about the first half, but uh, what what's some of what you've liked so far? Hey, you know, when we first started this, we talked about the keys to the game, and we talked about controlling the pace, connecting passes, and that's exactly what they did from the first second that whistle blew. We went down in what, in the first 15 seconds, had right. a legit shot on goal. And uh, so, it, you know, we can do that. It looks like we're coming back with the starting lineup just to start this second half. If we can continue to do that and just solidify and, uh, and, and come out and do that again, you'll start to see, you know, some of the other folks get minutes and things like that as well, which is very important as well. But we need to be able to replicate that <coughs> to the beginning of the second half. I know it's 5-0, but I need them to pretend like it's 0-0. Yes, be able sir. to do that again with confidence. 0-0 mentality, baby. Yeah, I know everyone here in Silver Springs loving this 5-0 lead from the Lady Cats, but so are our friends over at Hooten's Hardware in Emory. They feature brands you know and love, such as Cub Cadet, Echo, Milwaukee, Skag Power Equipment, Still, and much more. Hooten's Hardware, they're more than just nuts and bolts. You can visit Hooten's on East Linden Drive in Emory. Call Hooten's today at 
1-800-473-8788 or visit their website, hootandsteel.com. And I also want to tell you, we were talking about uh, the, the testings earlier. Uh, I want to tell you about our friends over at Oaks Bed and Breakfast, which is ran by Allison Libby Tessing. Uh, we are very proud to have her as a contributor here on Front Porch News. Oaks Bed and Breakfast tries to personalize everyone's visit to Sulphur Springs. Even if you're just stopping through, their goal is to make each person feel like they have found a home away from home. Right now, uh, you can go ahead and visit their website, theoaksbnb.net, for more information. The Oaks Bed and Breakfast is your restful travel stop. All right, so back in action. Uh, we're about 15 seconds into the second half. Lady Cats are already distributing the ball well, using the width of the field, finding some space. And uh, I hope they continue to possess. It's looking sharp so far. So now we're starting to make a run. Looks like you've got uh, Addie Jones coming up from the right back spot and then serving it over. And it was a nice service over there. So that's really good soccer. You have the right uh, defensive player and Addie Jones overlapping and making a run and, and being a part of the attack. That's, that's just really good soccer. Looks like this ball is finally going to find the left side of the field this, this half. Maybe, yeah, maybe so. <laughs> it might, might, might have a few minutes over there. <laughs> hey, so Tyler, while we're getting this thing going, I was curious as well. You were, uh, your Let's Go broadcast <laughs> has been seen yes. millions of times. And so, man, I'd love to hear about the, the probably the coolest basketball moment that I've ever seen in my life. Yes, very special uh, moment for anyone that doesn't know what he's talking about. Tuesday night was senior night for the uh, Silver Springs Wildcat basketball team. And we got to see a very, very, very cool moment from uh, manager Jaden Wilson, uh, obviously getting to not only suit up and start for the Silver Springs Wildcats, but they opened the game with him draining a three-pointer, which was very, very, very cool. And, uh, you know, people were putting that all over the Internet and submitting it to places. It's been on Good Morning America, uh, I believe NBC as well. And uh, just an awesome moment for, for Jaden and just cool for us to have gotten to see and, and be a part of, honestly. I mean, they were talking about that, like, mm -hmm. on the morning shows, like the big yeah. ones. I was like, this is pretty amazing. Yeah, I I'm mean, sure. how special for Jaden. Right, exactly. Oh, the basketball program, I mean, you could tell his teammates where that made everything special. And, and very cool, too. Who were we playing that night? Pittsburgh. 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 Yeah. So we're playing Pittsburgh, and for them to show just as much as a, of excitement, oh, yeah. it was it oh, was yeah. very cool. Yeah, hats off, Jaden, for making that shot. That was awesome. Oh, good move. When well, he canned it too. Oh yeah. I mean, it was nothing but net. Shooting one hundred percent from behind the three point line. That is absolutely wild, too. He just absolutely drained it. Mm -hmm. That's that's uh, movie material. I couldn't believe it. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. Big shout-out to Jaden. Speaking of, the Silver Springs basketball team will be back with them Tuesday night for their bi-district matchup against uh, Lindell. Very excited for that. Always love playoff basketball. How's Lindell? I mean, I would imagine they're in the playoffs. They're doing pretty good. Yeah, they uh, were the four seed of their district, though, so um, I think it came down to them in Brownsboro, yeah. and, and Lindell's who we got, but – we're we're always excited for that. Yeah, we're pretty familiar with with Lindell, and not necessarily in the same district, but it seems mm -hmm. like we play them in different sports. I don't know about basketball, but yeah, that's true. That's one thing that is a bummer about the soccer schedule. It's usually on Tuesdays and Fridays, right. That matches up with the basketball schedule. So uh, I've enjoyed watching basketball on on Chad's media and being able to watch some of the people we know. We we grew up with a lot of the people that are parents of some of the players, right? And, and uh, so pretty neat being able to do this. And watch it at home, a replay at least. Yeah, and that is the great part about it being on YouTube. You know, you can go back and watch whenever. Yeah. I didn't think it was possible, but boys, it has gotten colder. <laughs> has it gotten colder? Did you come in for a second, or well, I came maybe in, both? Uh, lost my gloves. Gave them to one of our interns, who didn't bring them. Big shout out to the interns, though. Yes, uh, we have a group of interns here helping us out. Chad's Media. Get up for Amani. Alex and uh, Paige here tonight. So I will give y'all a uh, funny thing. I just text down to my wife and, and uh, a couple of our friends that we, we vacation with and watch soccer. I just asked them if I said, are you losers cold down there? And uh, so they, <laughs> they didn't think it was as funny as I did. Out there in the cheap seats. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll, uh, they'll, uh, they'll give me a ha-ha <laughs> next Tuesday. They'll just laugh at the message. That's right. Yeah, I bet they wouldn't mind trading places with you up here in the in the press box. Makes two of us. I got an eye roll. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to see some action. 
<laughs> Woody, I can tell you've been spoiled by these lady cats. Uh-huh. That's right. I mean, Woody's like, it's four it's seconds been, into it's this It's been half. five whole minutes. We well, haven't I, mean, I think we've goal. had, what, three or four shots on goal already? Uh-huh. It's pretty, pretty neat. But you know what we haven't done? We haven't gone buck wild when we scored a goal. And uh, so uh, the next goal, we there's going to be it. some let's goes. That's what I'm talking about. Let me take a deep breath and get this goal ready. All right, here we go. Oh, Ooh. nice save by that keeper. That was a great job. What a keep. great diving save. Corey, the next goal, I need I need your very best goal call. I'm going to step out of the way. I'm a, It's some oh. ISO ball. We're well, all going to get so out of the way and let you do your thing. Truth be told, the first one, I started it, and then I was like, well, I guess this, is, this isn't this is what we're doing tonight because y'all didn't join in. And I was like, okay, I don't want to be the guy. No, we're gonna we're gonna get out of your way and make sure you do it. Which I I, I gotta tell you, man, here in Silver Springs, we like to support our own people. If you're looking for a hometown guy to cover you on all your home, auto, and life insurance needs, Josh Boatman is a clear answer. With Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, nobody knows the people of Hopkins County and their insurance needs better than Josh. Give him a call at 903-348-1527 or email him at jboatman at txfb-ins.com to see how he can help you today. that turning and using the field just what's happening when we're when we're playing the width of the field like that and continuing to ping passes together up oh, give and go again go. he's heard that word a lot but what that is doing it's exhausting if you're getting passed on like that and you keep chasing the ball and you're reactive it is so hard on your body and with the the amount of subs that they have another wide shot it was a nice nice attempt though it really does i would say if we, I mean, we've got 33 minutes left in this game. I'd say another 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I think North Lamar is going to be dragging because they've really been chasing balls and, and doing a nice job of, of a lot of effort. But, man, it's it really is tiring. Well, it's probably just a beat down having to defend from sideline to sideline. Right. Because oh, yeah. really, I mean, it is easier if you just make them run and keep using passes and yeah. just make them chase the ball versus you trying to dribble around everybody. And so, been doing a nice job of that. Vuvuzelas are in full effect. They are. We need to have somebody go down there and tell them we need some drums uh, happening. I don't know what's <laughs> going on down here. Oh, there they are. They heard you. They heard you. There we go. Asking you shall receive. Drums are back. All right, Emma Romero throw in to Haley Schultz. They may have been listening to the broadcast. They said, hey, what he wanted more drum. What he gets, what he wants. Oh, nice shot. Oh, great shot. a good shot. That might be my favorite part uh, outside of the game itself of the environment is it's unlike no other sport. Like, you've constantly got someone playing, like, you know, it just feels. Oh, it's offsides anyway, it looks like. But if you look at this sport, though, I mean, these girls are playing 40 minutes a half. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, and in a tough match, some of these girls aren't coming off the field. They're playing 80 minutes, and they're playing 80 minutes twice a week for months. Right. And then so, I mean, the, the physical condition is, that's required of soccer athletes, both on the boys' and girls' side, it really is pretty incredible. Unlike any other. And it's physical. I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's a, a it's physical a really, game. I mean, we're, we're not – we're not – it's just part of the game. If you look at us, we're contesting. There's some girls flying around, and, and, uh, and that's just part of it. You're going it, to – it's just a – it's a tough sport. You got to be. You got to have some toughness to be a soccer player. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Un- not kidding. Even though you see a lot of these professional. Oh grown yeah. People men make the jokes about yeah about the flopping and everything, but. But that's part of the gamesmanship too, trying to draw a foul. Oh yeah, I mean, for sure. Uh, uh, Which you see that in the NBA. NBA and, right. Yeah. While we got a second, I want to tell you about our friends over at Bulkley Trucking, based in Berkshire. They have earned a reputation as a highly reliable, timely, and professional carrier. And you could be the next member of the Bulkley team. At Bulkley, it's about family. They offer guaranteed weekly pay as well as flexible hours. They're also very accommodating as they they offer training programs and CDL testing on site. Give them a call at 903-582-2305 or visit bulkleytrucking.com. See how you can apply today. Now, Woody, did we make a change at goalie? Oh, you know what? We did. That is Zoe Zoe Haywood. Yeah. Yep. That's what I thought. I thought I saw her running out there. And so not – necessarily every game but pretty regularly you're going to see uh you know a keeper change at half with they you know really? typically that's been you know a half each uh so Maya's typically gone in the first half Zoe's gone in in the second half 
and uh, they've both been doing a, a pretty good job at keeper. Even though it's been relatively quiet, but they're uh, about to get some action down here this with a North corner. Hopkins corner kick. North Hopkins. <laughs> Excuse me. North hey, Lamar. I wasn't going to correct It's you. North. Yeah, it's one of the Norths. The North remembers. And oh, a goal. And there you go. A goal for North Lamar. Nice header off of a corner kick. It's a great, great header. So that's a big deal for these girls. Get them a little momentum. Oh, yeah. Well, honestly, I like to see that for them, you know. I want you to know there's going to be somebody now for the remainder of their life. They can go back and watch a goal they scored. As you were saying the phrase, the North remembers. <laughs> 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 Hope they were Game of Thrones fans. So Walter Frey, <laughs> the North remembers. But, you know, that's something you have to think about. It was It was tactically – Great execution. That was against the starting lineup for Sulphur Springs uh, yeah. on a corner kick, a set piece, and uh, goals happen however you can get them. All right, Becca Stanley using a little razzle-dazzle, passing it back to Emma Romero, taking their time, distributing the ball. This is exactly what they need to be doing. Slow the pace down and until it's time to run. Watch this little through ball right here to Haley Schultz. Over. Oh, my gosh. And that oh. is, oh, my gosh. What a great ball. Man. Just outside the footstep of Jolie Moore. She almost had her second she goal. She was right there. That was, I was uh, right there. Yeah. So, okay. So, I guess they did get a uh, foot on it. So, what we're about to see, we're about to see another Kylie Clark corner kick. We're going to see her left foot, and uh, she bombed the last one. I bet she's going to take a little bit off of it and try to curl this thing in. That would be nice to see that and be able to go relive it live on Chad's media and then on a replay later tonight. Let's see what we got. Service up. Oh, my gosh, and what a goal. It was it? Yeah, that was a goal. And so goal! that's what we're talking about. So it was a delayed reaction because <laughs> I couldn't tell. This, I was waiting for the referee to see to signal. It looked like it went in, but so uh, hey, they all count the same. But it was a nice corner. I think that was Addie Fenton that yes. deflected it in. I was about to say good job on the keeper because I thought she stopped it. And it's all hey, it, it can be in, but until the the ref signals, uh, yeah. that's that's what I was trying to look and see. So he was in a good position to call it and everything too. Corey, I got to give you a applause. That was a good goal. That was a good goal call. That's what I was going to go with on the first one, but then I just – I felt like the energy wasn't there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Great nice goal. ball to Rebecca Stanley. Razzle-dazzle time. I feel like we're – it's going to be tough for that girl to win 1v1 versus versus Rebecca. All right, here we go. And ooh, nice ooh. move. She mega? Oh, my gosh. Oh. And we're going to have another corner. That was going in upper 90, and yeah. that North Lamar defender put a nice little foot on it and deflected it out. For Before a, we get this corner, I want to tell you about our friends over at Vink's Pest Control. Locally owned and operated, they are the go-to source for effective pest control. Give them a call for any of your pest control needs, residential or commercial. They also offer a 100% guarantee. If you're still seeing pests after treatment, they will come back at no cost to you. Give them a call at 972-855-8469 to get a free quote today. Becca Stanley taking the corner, and it's up. And there was a head on it. Ooh, and tough good. to take that shot uh, with that much. That was a lot of, lot of, lot of traffic in front. All right, and then so that's that's what we were kind of talking about before. Just really, really some heavy touches when you don't really need to. Ball brought back to Sulphur Springs. Now we're trying to get it out of traffic. And if y'all will watch too. The ball's jumbled up on the visitor side right now. You'll see us turn the ball back and 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 call a switch essentially. And there's a lot of open space toward the middle and the home side of the field in that situation. So if we switch the field, essentially it's going to create lots. So here we go. So now we're lots of space, making their team shift, adjust, run. And that's what you want to do. And it looks like it's going to be North Lamar throw in. Uh, now that I said it once, I want to say North Hopkins. <laughs> just, 
<laughs> Every so time. To, like, catch myself. It's the debut know. of uh, girls soccer for North Hopkins, <laughs> That's I right. believe. That's right. Uh, looks like we have to my left is uh, one Jaden Wilson here yeah. at the game. Fresh off of his uh, world tour. Local celebrity. L- lo- like, for real celebrity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, – one of the posts had like over four million views, and that yeah. was hours ago. There's no telling what is that known. Oh wow, that's it's on Twitter. Huge. Yeah, I saw Rex Chapman, who's huge on uh, Twitter. He had posted it, and uh, and that's what got blown up. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Haley Schultz coming up. Oh, so she's gonna pull up. And they they punched it out there, but that's no chance. Yeah, nobody's out passing to get it that back one. to the keeper. I like it. And nice clear by. When in doubt, clear the ball. Yeah, mm-hmm. when in doubt, just get it out of there. Which I forgot to update, but uh, Addie Fitton now at nine goals on the on the season. Wow, nice. And again, she has or had coming into the game eleven assists. I don't know if she had one that we missed or anything like that, but no. great great freshman season. Would oh, he yeah. correct me on the rules, but um, if the if you're a keeper and the ball is passed to you by your own teammate, you cannot grab that, can you? Correct. So if if you're gonna if you can on a header, okay. But if they're gonna pass back, you you need you to can. clear the ball or, or or receive it and then distribute it out, and not gotcha. necessarily clear it. But uh, if it's an if it's like an in defer, in inadvertent deflection. Gotcha. That's not going to be in that that scenario either, but like a versus a true pass back to your. If keeper. they deliberately are passing that's correct, it back yeah. to you, if it's gotcha. a deflection of some sort, you're you know you can go ahead and pick that ball up. Nice cross, and that was a dangerous. They they did nice cross across the face of the goal and and had two of their players there, but luckily we were able to clear that ball out and. Hmm. But they are they've got a little bit of momentum. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is good hustle right there. And that was a nice call. It could have been an advantage. Do you all know what an advantage is? So, essentially, right there he called a foul, which is fine. So, they stopped the play. Sometimes if they play an advantage, that means they know it's a foul, but we maintain possession. They're going to go ahead and let us play on. And if we were to stumble and fall later, they might go and do a late call type scenario. So, that could have been an advantage type play. Probably was, but not a big deal. It wasn't anywhere in a, in a, in a game-changing type scenario. All right, nice ball. Oh, my gosh. Nice ball. Ooh. Good job by the keeper kneeling yeah, down and getting that. Great stop by the keep there. A shot by Rebecca Stanley. Just want to let you all know, if if we if and when we score again, I'm unleashing. <laughs> you know what? I just so the first one was just practice, huh? Yeah. Just, well, I didn't – it wasn't the reaction this. I wanted. I don't think I've ever heard uh, – the last one was pretty good unleashing. You like that? Yeah, I thought that was unleashed. Well, but to your point, it was delayed. Yeah, you didn't I get want, to do it. You want, want like a clear and obvious yes. the second they make it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good ball work by Anna there. And just desperation clear. Uh, they're really under pressure, and they're just getting that ball out of there so they can reset and get their defensive line in place. Yeah. Looks like we've got four subs coming in. Looks like we – Kylie Clark's going to take a break. And Aniston Price coming in for her. Looks like Kendall Farrell's coming in for Emily Soto. Looks like Vanessa Wayne is going to give Emma Romero a break. And it looks like from a mid midfield and forward standpoint, same exact lineup. Well, i got to point out in the comments earlier, Jeremy gave the prediction uh, six to nothing. And we're at six one right now. He's always very – it doesn't matter the sport. It doesn't accurate. matter. He's always very spot on with the – with the predictions. We should have done predictions. We should have, yeah. I'd guess like nine zip, but You were you were gonna guess nine to to zero was I, gonna be your I guess. Felt strong. That's I felt fair. Strong about it. Well the wild part is you wouldn't have even been that I'd have been close. I mean, yeah. It wouldn't have been near as ridiculous as it sounded. It'd have been like betting on Tiger to make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> Still twenty one. 45 left in this one. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. The beast miss, missed touches, and uh, we missed out on an opportunity there for sure. Yeah, that ball went through about three or four North Lamar defenders, it looked like. Ooh, just a little heavy on that pass. That 
past to not order the uh, sub the salad at Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so that's where we're getting into some trouble. Passing the ball to the other team not necessary. We really need to slow it down. And if you and if oh wow oh my gosh that's that's pretty dangerous right here. Space and Rebecca Stanley. I'm getting ready. Oh my gosh. Oh. So what you really want? Now she caught a really good run. What you really want, you want your center forward and your white right wing to be really level with, with her to where if that goalie was going to bobble it, then they, they have an opportunity to, to come in and, and get a deflection. But th it just happened so fast, sometimes it's impossible to be be in that position right off the bat. Well, I don't think she even expected to have it like right. you know, that open. Which you're going to see when we're on the defensive, you're going to see some of our players stay pretty high and not really be engaged from a defensive standpoint, and that's by design because things like that can happen. Where they can just, you know, kind of do a through lob almost. So, like, when we were talking about teams that park the bus, yes, that's what they're doing. They're going to plant a really speedster type, and they're going to try to count on one or two of those opportunities the entire game to try to go score, just like that. And uh, so, it just kind of a defensive breakdown. You're trying to count on a mistake to go get some an action. Oh, my gosh, uh -oh. here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Great. And, I'm going to tell you what, Jolie was in the, the yeah, perfect was position, in the too. Really, really nice job by both Rebecca Stanley and Jolie. That was that was great. Another – okay, that looked a lot closer when they first <laughs> shot it. <laughs> you almost shot a goal. And, you know, we, we talked about two refs. They really have an impossible job, but they've really been in position. Sometimes it, it, it can be frustrating from a spectator standpoint if you have two refs and they're not in position, which it does happen on occasion. But these guys have done a good job. I mean, they really have been right there making calls. Even down there when we got our goal that we didn't know if it was going to be, they were right there and he was able to confidently call it a goal. Make call, yeah. So. Now, is that is that Ro, uh, is one of those Rogelio? Is that his name? I don't know who. It's so hard to see from up here. You're not I don't know. I know he's usually – he's normally on the call for a lot of uh, – Oh, yeah. He's a good guy as well. Does a lot of work in the indoor league as well, I believe. Oh, yeah. And it's – it is uh, it is. I mean, you're – on purpose, they're coming out here and, and ref and soccer in the yeah. whatever degree weather. <laughs> on purpose. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, they chose they to do They did not this. accidentally make it out here. <laughs> This is not community service time. But if you think about it, too, these are grown men and, and women. We have, you know, men and women doing this. Coach Brenna has done a lot of refing before in the indoor really? and uh, in, in the Sulphur Springs Rec League. But you have to be in shape to do this. You, oh, you, absolutely. You know, there, every now and then, you know, we've done some tournaments in, in the Tyler area. And not the best shape on some of these folks, but uh, man, shape. Ar around here, you better. Yeah, I know that for a fact. <laughs> oh, a little razzle-dazzle. Oh, oh. Dropped her. Golly, that looked like a price on Black Friday just getting <laughs> dropped. <laughs> that was a little razzle dazzle. So that was nice, and it would actually still create it off of a mistake, yeah. and we're able to maintain possession. That's what you really want. All right, looks like Zoe Crump is in at uh, right forward over there. What you'll see from Zoe, she has a motor. She's going to go out, and if she wins a ball or loses a ball, she's attacking. She's going to yeah. go after it, and that's what you really want. She has a pretty high work rate. And that's uh, that's nice to have. Not much more you can ask for. That's right. Know. Our buddy Slade, that's what he always says. He made a living uh, playing college soccer. He walked on uh, and and uh, played college soccer, and he just outworked everybody. And and uh, and we just go out there and try to wreak havoc. Neat, neat hearing his story. And uh, it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat a high work Motor, ethic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So they've got a little momentum going. They're building up. Trying to find somebody to connect passes to. We're doing a good job, almost slowing her down to a walking pace. Kendall doing a nice job, not stabbing at it. Just Sometimes you'll see these kids uh, at this level, you'll see some, you know, just stick a leg out and try it, and, and you call it stabbing, and he just get juked. Kendall did a nice job staying in front, and really, if you watch the, you know, watch that play, slowed it down to a walking pace, and, that, and so she it took all the lanes out, no threat to get beat one on one, and no passes. She's kind of trusted her back line to get it in position. And That's right. Well, and that's the other thing, too, is, you know, w with good coaching, good culture, all that kind of stuff, you see these kids not trying to make hero plays. You know, that's they trust exactly their teammates. Right. 
They trust that other people are going to do their job so that all that they have to do is do theirs. You because know? hero plays are not necessary. Now, yeah. every now and then, if you have a kid with some ball skills and they want to go 1v1 and go try to do a little razzle-dazzle, that's great. Yeah. But there's sometimes you'll see, see teams and they're trying to do some razzle-dazzle and they hadn't really ever practiced it, and it doesn't work out as well. But, you know, there's time and place for it. But uh, and, and, and we've seen some of that on display tonight where it's worked out and we yeah. do it on calculated instances, and that's really well, what you want. Yeah, it's, it's risk-reward, you know. All right, another corner kick coming up for North Lamar. Just 15.50 left in this one. Still 6-1. 15 sounds like the degrees out here. <laughs> Good job, Zoe. Yeah, I'm definitely appreciative of my – Spot here in the booth. Yeah, I'm happy for y'all. I mean, Corey doesn't look that cold. I mean, he may be cold, but my hands my hands are really the only part that's like super cold. Where did your gloves go? Amani, one of our uh, interns. Oh, what a nice guy. She didn't very bring them, so very nice of you. Would you like to guess what the temperature is? Uh, I'd say it feels like thirty-two. Thirty-eight. Wow, guys, I'll tell y'all. Chad's media knows how to do it, so you know we're up here hanging out halftime. Second half starts, interns brought us a little tray. They did. Of uh, two slices of pizza and a cookie each and a mm. bottle of water. I'm like, man, this is pretty good service up yes, here. Yes, it absolutely I mean, was. I'm warm and full. <laughs> All right, Ooh, here we go. Job. Nice. Great through ball. What good work, Oh, Anna. my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Pass it in. Go. Go. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go! Hey, so guys, we, we talked about earlier passing to feet versus passing to space. Yes. When you're passing to space, you call that a through ball. I know a lot of people know that. Some people may not. but So that was beautiful. They saw, they ante anticipated, did a through ball to Anna. She was in heavy traffic, lots of contact, able to maintain control of the ball, and literally just went and passed it in. That's a hard deal. Sometimes 1v1 with a keeper, you get, you know, you get nervous. Sometimes you pass it right to the – Keeper un 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 unintentionally, but uh, passed it right into the goal, and uh, really keeper didn't have a chance. So nice finish. Yeah. It's hard to finish sometimes. Well, yeah, you, you build up all this anticipation just to get there, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're there, and it's like, what do I do? All right, using the width of the field again. That So the, the touch like that. So we had complete control. We got a little off touch, and now they're on a, a little run. That's where you talk about a, a, a soft touch, hard touch, you know, a little bitty mistake it created. For, it went from us possessing the ball to doing a turnover, and we're scrambling a little bit. So every one of those matters. This is a good time to regain composure like they just did, get out of trouble, and work the ball up the field. All right, so pa passing the ball back. Let's restart. Let's build it back up. Nice, easy touch. And here we go. Looks like Jolie's wide open. Oh, and that was not Jolie. That was Zoe. It really is hard to tell the difference between these kids. Thank yes. goodness they have numbers. Now, I'll tell you, um, well, I just lost my train of thought there. I was going to say something. Now I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes it be like I wait till you, you get mean, in your 40s. Right out of the gate. Yeah, the, the brain fog, it happens when you get in your 40s. Yeah, it's knocking on 30s door, so. Uh, oh, my gosh, you're in your 20s. I was about to ask. That's I'm, crazy. I'm 29. Young buck. I don't feel it sometimes. What about you, Tyler? How old are you? 28. Golly, you guys. I'll be 46 this summer. No, oh, quit lying. Yeah, man. 46. We'll have an 18-year-old next week. What in the world? Golly. All right, so we had a little turnover, and it uh, looks like we regained possession and lost it one more time. <sighs> Could have been a foul, a little bit of clip from the back, but no big deal. In a game like this, you're probably going to see a, some of the fouls that – in a tight game, some yeah. of these deals might be called a little more, you know, but they're, they're going to let them play a little bit more in this type of situation. You're they not might let a little hold like go here and there, you know. Especially if it's in the fourth quarter with a minute 30 left and, the, you know. That's right. They're driving. It's like, oh, we'll, we'll let that go. That's what we need. We, may, we need more Vuvuzela. That's what these girls 
when they hear drums in Vuvuzela, I think it fires them up. I think they're ready to get this thing get this thing going. It's a whole new world for them. It is fun to watch, though. I mean, scoring goals, uh, that that's the most recognizable part. But really, when you can go win balls, that, you know, you can go be a dog in a dog fight right there in the middle of the field. And yeah. whether you're trying to score or you're trying to defend and you can just continually win balls, that's what uh, – that's really the backbone of a team, uh, whether you're playing on the offensive attack, you're playing on the midfield, or you're playing on defense. So it's been nice to see – us go win balls on a regular basis and really in a dominating fashion uh, all throughout the game, all over the field. So it's been nice to see. Whew, man. So we're coming up on, you know, you look at our goal differential again, just adding to it with this. Yeah, six. Uh, that's going to be a, a nice statistic. Which you you really do in any in any sport like to see a shutout. You kind of wish you wouldn't have given up a goal, but that's soccer. Yeah. You're not going to be able to do that. And and uh, when they just you know North Lamar just executed. And that's part of what what you really don't know if you don't watch a lot of soccer. Sometimes that's the way teams score. That might be your only opportunity to score is on a corner kick or a set piece like a free kick. Absolutely. Uh, you're not going to get that breakaway option. You know, North Lamar has not had a breakaway type scenario or a, a shot that's, you know, really, really challenged our keeper. But set pieces are just as important, and they count the same amount. And so there's if they, if they practice those, which it looks like they have, and they have somebody that can, can really Place rainbow a, a, a corner kick over, that matters. Um. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but in district play, there is, uh, like, goal differentials and, and stuff like that does come into play for tiebreakers, correct? That's right. So, you'll, you'll have, the obviously, the, the wins and losses, but – oh, that's a foul. Yeah. For sure. You'll have the wins and losses, obviously, but goal differential will come into play. The order of the tiebreakers, I'm probably not as good on, on uh, if that were to happen. But one thing about all the preseason games and then versus district, so, like, if a lot of soccer games end in a tie – and then, but in district, if this game were to end in a tie, we'd go into extra time. Okay. So they'll play. I, th I think in district it's either ten or fifteen minute halves. Two I don't halves, know. though, correct? Correct. And so, and if it's still tied after that, they'll go into the penalty kicks. So basically, the the one person shooting versus one keeper, uh, back yeah. and forth. That's pretty nerve wracking. Oh, uh, I believe it. I know that the boys have already gone to a couple games. Oh yeah. With penalty kicks. I mean, such a nerve wracking deal for the, especially the goalkeeper, but you know just. Doing that with, with from a keeper standpoint, and then having you on the spot trying to score a goal, it's just uh, you know everybody's watching you. I would imagine it's it's a crazy time. All right, so a little nice pass up to Zoe. She's on side. Did a really good job of staying on side. We're really just just uh, doing a good job right there in the midfield, just winning balls and just continuing to distribute and. Uh, Really Make, making it tough on them. Yeah. If, if, if you can't control the midfield, it makes the rest of your game really, really impossible. Yeah, it's, it's tough to kind of, like I said, maintain possession. Right. Nice uh, follow-up win by Vanessa Wayne there. Got a little run coming from North Lamar. But loose pass, and uh, whoop, well, they recovered again. And nice touch on the defense. That's a great Looks job. like uh, Camilla out there. Now we got uh, another run. Up the right Nice. Side. Up, up the Haley middle. Schultz. Little, oh, little, little just heavy. a little too much. But uh, Anna, one thing for sure, she's going to find Haley uh, a few times a game. They, cool. they, uh, they do have some good chemistry. So. Especially with the way uh, Haley can make those runs. That's right. I mean, she just, she's a speedster, and it seems like she's never out of energy. If you if that run starts, uh, if, if Anna were behind the, the mid – you know, midfield part, the 50-yard line, and uh, gives her a chance to run like that, it's it's going to be bad news because the keeper's yeah. not going to come out that far in this scenario on this team. So some more subs coming in. Looks like uh, Becca Stanley just came back in. Kylie Clark's out on the left side. Emma Romero back in at left defense. And then we have full force Stanley boys on the drums, getting everybody fired oh, they up. They are all in it. Nice touch by Kendall. And nice space created by Emma Romero. 
Nice. Oh, my gosh. That was a good little touch. And to Kylie. Kylie Clark, the keeper should have come out. She did yeah, not. Yeah, she played it conservatively. And, Ooh. oh, my oh, gosh. Wow. Nice job by the keeper. Deflects it off her glove. Hits the crossbar. Soccer can be a game of inches, too, apparently. Yeah. Football, just like football. That looks like Jelly Moore's in the game. Oh, a little oh. deflection. Now's the time if you if you really want to play some good strategy soccer. I know these girls want to score as many goals as possible. Really, what you want to do right now, you just want to pass. You want to you want to play keep away. You want to keep passing the ball around. You, obviously, if an opportunity to score arises, go score. But really, you want to maintain possession and run these girls to death. And uh, so you'd like to see them slow that ball down and just possess. That would be the number one thing you would want to do right now with five minutes left in this game. Uh, game over. Waste some time off the clock. Yeah. No need to make any kind of crazy run, even though they probably are because they want to score. I totally get it. Yeah, it's it's a you're your high school kid. You want to get your name in the paper, you know, that kind of deal. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Jelly was right there, a foot step away. She Man. knew it was coming. There's been a lot of those runs by Jolie on that, uh, that far side. Oh, yeah. And that's been, I mean, that's been fun to watch. And it seems like if they could just ever get that timing just dead on, oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Stay the boys are in full effect. They are fired up. 509 left. 7 to 1. Sulphur Springs Lady Cats. About to go 4 and 0 in district. Pretty exciting times, man. Really is. Yeah. And you can't say that, especially after all the injuries they had to, you know, work through last year and you know, different girls getting minutes and all that kind of stuff. Like it's it's nice to see them come back and succeed at such a high level it is it is fun to do we played this team last year i don't remember i, I think we beat them last year too but uh the whole personnel can change on teams obviously oh, but yeah. we have a lot of people back and and some girls that came up well and the freshman ranks, so. you know you're doing this without uh rowan fairclaw mm -hmm. you Correct. know she's she's out at the uh getting some exposure for uh her collegiate uh, which uh career what do you can Help us with this. Just 420 left. I think we need to start thinking about our uh, Slaughter's Barbecue Player of the Game. We probably do. We probably do. Last time I abstained since I have a daughter on the team, so oh. I might have to yeah. again. I don't know. If you all want to mute your mics and talk about it, I'll, I'll continue the – We Hey, we we can just say whatever – whatever You guys can say what you think. And oh, and you'll, maybe, you'll maybe come uh, back with I it. I need to be a tiebreaker maybe. Well, Tyler? I mean – both Anna and Kylie have two goals tonight. I think that definitely should be going into consideration. Okay. Uh, Addie Fenton has been really good tonight. She not only has a goal, but she's been great anytime she's had the ball. She also has two goals, right? Oh, does she also have two? Yeah, okay. Wow. Didn't she have two goals? I knew I she had so. one. There's, um, there's seven of them. Uh, so I think you scored one, didn't you, Woody? Yeah, I went down there. <laughs> And uh, halftime, you went out there and scored one. You, if I was running around down there, you'd definitely be able to tell me <laughs> apart. I'd be really tired, really quick. What do you think, Corey? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of leaning Anna right now. I'll yeah, be that's honest. That's kind of where I'm at too. Honestly, some of the razzle dazzle she sewed. Um, Kylie's made some great runs, but um, I mean, it, it's. I almost want to give them co, but. If I had to pick one, I'd, I'd give it to Anna. Obviously, we still got two. Anything could happen in the next two minutes and Whoever 55 seconds. But There you go. Well, obviously, I would never vote for my own daughter, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. She's had a pretty good game. Uh oh, Haley Schultz. Oh, oh the crossbar. Man. The goalpost gods are against us this half, and that's oh, going to be a PK, guys. Penalty? That's going to be a PK. Wow. Yeah, that is a all-out trip, uh, and so that's going to be a good deal. I'm going to guess they're going to have – Kylie Clark take this. Who knows? No, actually, they're probably going to have Addie take it uh, because she's the one that got fouled. No, I'm wrong. It's going to be Haley Schultz. So I guessed two different times and was wrong. <laughs> Sometimes, man. Third time's a charm. And Haley is lining up, taking a left-footed shot, even though she's not a lefty. But she might just be gaming it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Goal. Haley Schultz. Goal, goal. Lining up. 
toying with the keeper. Man. Thought it was going to be left, got in the keeper's head, and then she started dancing around and then just buries it. That's Hey, if you can just do a shot down low like that with a little bit of force, it's, it's hard to stop. It's really, really tough to stop. You don't have to go kick it as hard as you can, but, man, she put a little force behind it. That's pretty outstanding. PKs are not easy. Yeah, I, I totally. On both sides, keeper and uh, person trying to score. That was pretty neat. Seeing a making the making the keeper question lots of things. Eight to one, guys. So y'all said it. Anything can happen. So uh, look at them. They're 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 wanting to score again. Look at the pace. They're want they're they're hungry. They're feeling it. Oh, Addie Fenton with a little slice and dice. Nice ball skills, and we missed that one. Went out of bounds. got a couple of turnovers in a row we need to get it back uh oh here we're gonna make a run here it's dangerous and now Addie Fenton back in the game she's gonna find Rebecca Stanley here I have a feeling or Emma Romero Ooh. and we've lost it down there for the third time in a row we need to tighten it up just tighten that up so heavy touches that's the example that was a heavy touch a couple times in a row a little more space in between uh, the player and the ball than you'd like, but it happens. It's not detrimental to the game or anything like that, but it does happen. We don't need to be on our heels with no. one minute left. Well, with uh, 38 seconds left, I'm going to go ahead and make my pick for uh, the Yeah, Slaughter I literally was about to beat you to it. I, uh, I'm going with Anna Williams. My name Tonight's is Tonight's Slaughter's Barbecue Player of the Game. That makes two of us. Anna Williams. Outstanding. Have yourself a night. And for the record, I – abstained again for the second time since I have a daughter on the team, but I appreciate you guys. I think as a as a sports guy, I agree she had an outstanding game, and, and as a dad, I'm certainly proud of her. It's fun to watch. Team's fun to watch. I guarantee you that. So everyone watching should uh, congratulate her and celebrate by going to Slaughter's tomorrow. Get and you some uh, boudin, dude. Yeah, get you some boudin, get you a Logan special, get Ooh. whatever you're feeling. Anytime you want to go up there and get a Logan platter. Oh, man. If you're, if you're hungry. Uh -huh. I tell you you better be hungry. But yeah, you better be hungry. <laughs> They're pickled onions for me. Woo, baby. And that'll do it by a final score of 8-1. to one. Your Sulphur Springs Lady Cats are now 4-0 and oh in district play. They remain – Undefeated, and as we mentioned earlier, obviously, uh, you know, North Lamar was one of the teams tied for second at two and one. So now you're creating a little bit of a separation, separation. as well. So Big there you time. go, Big huge win. game for the Lady Cats. Guys, be of thank y'all so much for inviting me to hang out up here. I was warm. It was fun. Y'all are a blast. To <laughs> it hang beats with. being down in the cold it, stands. It definitely huh? beats being in the cold, baby. Now we want to thank so, every uh, single one of y'all for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, we will be back Tuesday night for the Sulphur Springs Wildcats by district match against. Uh, Lindell, obviously yes. anyone who Live can make it, go support the team in person. We want a packed gym. But if you can't make it, we will be right here on the call. Uh, on behalf of everyone here at Chad's Media, obviously big thank you to Woody for joining us here tonight. On behalf of Corey Hankins, who not only did incredible camera work, but helped us call the game as well. Um, 